Welcome back to Numbers on the Board. Numbers on the Board! Yes! We about to have a great episode, y'all. Y'all ready? Hell yeah. You locked in? Of course, always. You locked in? Hell yeah. Shout out to all of our viewers and subscribers. We had 74,000. Make sure you hit that like button for us. And if you're new and you enjoy this type of content, make sure you subscribe. And if you've been watching and you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that for us. Head over to whatever platform you listen to this podcast and leave us a five-star like and review. It is always much appreciated. We cooking. We ready. We got, what, 13, 14, 12 games left in the season. Your boys is locked in. We, we, so we, ready for the playoffs, though. We've we been we here. locked in, we're ready. You and know what? I've been actually enjoying this a little bit more because I can really focus on one or two games a night. Yeah. Like when the Celtics go against the Pistons last night and they're a 17 point favorite, for sure. I'm okay with not yeah, seeing no, a second of that game. There's no reason to even. But watch. it's like there's going to be a few games like Pacers versus Warriors. So I'm like, yes. that's the one I'm going to lock you in. Know, um, Miami I'm, versus Pelicans. I tried to lock in on that one. God, that, the Miami Heat look awful. <laughs> I had to get out of there. For real, bro. I, like, I don't know what's, what's. I'm proud of Adam Silver in a way. Mm. He's really. Shifted our perception on like what's exciting a little bit. Like we are in a point of a season where we're locked in on that ten and eleven seed in the Western Conference. Where like before we would have just been like, "You absolutely that, that right. Shit that shit don't even matter. You they have no right chance there. in either getting to the playoffs or making it more, somewhat exciting." Now the Rockets have flipped the switch, mm-hmm. and it's actually kind of fun to see that we have something, even even as small as it is, to be like. There's some here where it can change both franchises' direction a little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that's a good point. I think that's also why when we started to talk about things that can make the game better or more exciting, it don't always have to be a home run. Yeah. Sometimes it can be just a little line drive that turn into a double or a triple. And I think that's what the what the um playing is done. Yeah. I think the playing I they definitely tried to hit the home run, don't get me wrong. But in the grand scheme of things, nobody is really looking at like the Bulls and Hawks, you feel me? Yeah. But it's like you do have a situation where the the Rockets are climbing, yes. and making it some type of closeness to the Warriors, and that creates a whole conversation. And in the grand scheme of things, will somebody at the ten spot, ten C, are they going to win the championship? The odds is probably not. Nope. I mean, the Warriors mm-hmm. they the, probably the best chance of hey. doing it. <laughs> it's the <laughs> but. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's still something that gives the fan something, something to, to watch. Yeah, something to watch. And for us to have something to talk about. I Adam Silver also is just really happy that, like, he incorporated this and two of the biggest cash grabs in the NBA both still have a chance to make the playoffs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, in a, any other season prior to three years ago, LeBron and Steph Curry are missing 100%. <laughs> and now they actually have a chance to make it happen. So. Yeah, not only are they missing, they probably would have been shut and down he, by now, right? Yeah. He did this at the perfect time. You shut down time. LeBron right now? No, because no I think it would still be – uh, they still have. He would be still. They would still be close with that eight seed. Right. Oh, yeah. True, they true, they true, two true, and a half games true, away from eight, true. so he would still be playing. Absolutely. But Curry on the other hand, he he would still be playing probably. I think Curry. Adam Silver and them also did it at the right time. Where like yeah, LeBron, they did. And LeBron and um, Steph Curry's teams, they start to regress a little. Mm-hmm. So now they are. And they're no longer at the top of the conference. Well, now well, at the bottom. Steph did win a championship during the playing era. Oh yeah, that was wasn't that the first year of it? Uh, technically, I think the second one. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like the fact that these games matter, and I think we could probably talk about it like more a different time. But I know the discussion has came up of like divisions kind of meaning more, and like what that means to be like a division leader and anything like that. I wonder if they do implement something that's like you get this playoff spot. I know they were also saying it could be kind of hard though, just because the games don't really equate to like you play in your division as much. Like you do get your four games, but it's not like you have consistent games against your division yeah, throughout still the only season. Yeah, two games in your division. Yeah. I don't like the no, division four, stuff. I mean, I mean, we used to have it, right, in the early 2000s. We had teams be the three seed when the four seed had 10 games above them. Exactly. But yes. the four seed ended up being the second seed yeah. in their division. So I don't really like division play too Same. much like that. Same. Uh, it's, I think it matters in some sports, like in baseball, hell yeah, football, hell yeah, basketball. Less of that. Honestly. College basketball, because there's nothing better than when a team has a conference tournament play before the actual tournament. And you could, Derek's team could be 1 in 11 in the conference. But when we get to the conference tournament, if they win and they get hot, they automatically make the tournament. They can be a, a below 500 team or whatever. Mm-hmm. You just get hot at the right time. And you'll be seeing NC State. NC State beat Duke, they beat North Carolina in the conference tournament. And then they went to the NCAA tournament. They just upset um, Texas Tech. You just get hot at the right time. But I don't like it in the NBA because, yeah, that never made sense to me. I'm a better team than them, but I'm a lower seed because they won a division. That's silly. That's <laughs> it. 54. I got 54 wins and they got 49, but they're higher than me. 
Yeah, and in the NFL, just, in the NFL it's kind of like the same thing where like you'll see some team make it when they like are barely over five hundred, but a team that's like seven, eight games above five hundred don't even make the playoffs. Right, and mm-hmm. it's just like damn, they just worked that hard throughout that whole season putting their body on the line, and they don't get to make the playoffs. Are we all Bears fans here? Yes. Oh, for okay, sure. cool, cool, cool. Just are you happy? Sure. Uh, um, am I happy? I can't. Yes, yes, I am. I'm happy. getting super happy. I am happy. I'm getting super happy. I'm loving the off season that we're having. Um, starting with bringing in uh, Bayard, um, starting, I mean, bringing in Allen. We got Everett. Um, Justin Fields is gone. I, I like Justin Fields. I'm not a Justin Fields hater, but it is so toxic as a I Chicago. Say, it's tiring. Ring. I'm not even like a crazy fan, and I know it would be tiring. And have on ESPN 1000, and every day they are on here taking calls and really trying to analyze a situation that just hit its dead end. Yeah. And so I was so relieved because now it's like we can just get over it. The newspaper don't have to have Justin on it every every day. <laughs> AESP one thousand don't have to talk about what it was going to happen. We have we're moving on. And um, Notre Dame got offensive lineman in the draft. I, I, man, I pray I pray we get him. But you got to drop the mic though, Mike. I do. I was about to text. I almost you. said Mike the drop, but stop I was mic. about to text you this morning that. <laughs> I was feeling like I wanted to make a Blake Griffin build. First and foremost, you can always text me in the morning and make me feel good about myself. How you feel about that? It's March, bro. I don't care. The we end s- of March. <laughs> but listen, though, we still play 2K. We do. We do. Like, I like, still spend a good. Have you, over under 14 and a half builds you've created in this summer. I'm definitely of 2K. over. I'm definitely over. This is the Probably first over. <laughs> but this is the first time I <laughs> like, went that's over. That's crazy. Yeah, right? that's the first time I went over. But luckily, we got good paying jobs. But yeah. I'm embarrassed to admit, I recently just made a build that's very similar. I made a Zion build, and I ended up not liking it. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know what's you know you know what's the real big thing though, is grinding it. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't want to bring a ninety to the runs, but at the same time, am I really about to grind a build? I mean, MLB the show sometimes just be the drop. best way to get your build up is just to play. What's to drop the mic, man? <laughs> All right, let me get to it. Let me get to it, though. Do you ever have, Make like... Make a new video game. <laughs> in no way. <laughs> Do you ever have, like, a video. player quote or seen a player interview that made him like a, like them a little bit more? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. I got one that's incredible. Yeah. It was this guy. He had just lost his series. It was a big series for him. I know exactly which he one He goes to the about. podium. And at this time, I was happy that he lost because I was young. And I was kind of just like, man, yeah, F him. I want to see him lose. And he got up to this podium, and he looked, and he says, into the camera. All these people was wishing and hoping that I lost. They got what they wanted. But tomorrow they got to go back to their job, <laughs> <laughs> to their regular life. That, that always pops into my mind because I told y'all, like, my manager said she hated LeBron for that. <laughs> like, hated his guts. And I, like, I'm like, why? Just like, why is that sticking with you so much? I'm the opposite of her. When he said that, it woke me up like, hey, he's got a point. I just spent all this energy praying on his downfall. He fell, and yeah. I feel nothing really changed. Nothing moved me. Like, I wasn't nope. as happy as I thought I was going to be watching him lose the finals. And then it made me say, hey, let me stop hating on him and appreciate his greatness. And I'll probably just, you know, be a little bit more in tune with what's going on. But I felt like me being a hater of his at that time because everybody else is doing it. Which is a waste of energy. I wouldn't for me. say like hater, but I'm I'm gonna keep going with the Blake Griffin stuff, and you'll kind of see why. But like, no, but like before you go though, can we say this? We we were hating. I would. We, oh, let's Griffin, not fail was, to admit. I was definitely hating. I was hating. Yeah, we was hating yeah. on that Clippers scene. No, on LeBron. Oh, oh in oh, high school, LeBron, bro. yeah. <laughs> You know how you had your OKC yeah. fan page? but I, I might as well have had the opposite. I yeah. hated the Heat. We I were hated it. And you know what? Like, uh, Dwayne Wade is one of my favorite players. I hated him for a four-year stretch. And hated it's okay him. to admit it. My I, hate just ended after that first. Once yeah. they lost, yeah. I was like, ha-ha. And then I was like, oh, shit. Shit, that ain't I mean, really do nothing for me. So I have four years of like the Grinch level hatred in my heart. I love yeah, the villainous. And when he said that, he just kind of took on that villain. And I was like, <laughs> let's go. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. But we'll go ahead with the Blake Griffin. Nah, because I I honestly didn't really like that Clippers team. Like, I felt wow. like they was a little bit more of the villain. But I love Blake Griffin. Okay. And I know me and you really like Blake Griffin and everything like that. One of my favorite quotes. <laughs> Dark anyway. Horse MVP in the early years of our through the wide For real, days, though. I for had. real, though. <laughs> was that yeah. after the Detroit year or was that before the Detroit That was, he was still on the Clippers, but Chris Clippers. Paul had left. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, but one of his, his quote, or I remember it was during the interview, he was basically saying that, like, 
he had to start working on his jump shot because by the time he got to the playoffs, his body was done. Mm. So it was just like a little bit of somehow he had to transition his game, and it ended up like, I mean, we didn't really get the full Blake Griffin when later in his career, but he was still making teams because he could stretch the floor and he was a good playmaker. Defense probably wasn't the best, but like he still had skill set, and I think like it helped him survive in the later careers. And that was just a jump shot. Obviously, he evolved more and more, but like so that's the interview part. Yeah. Okay, I thought you was tying into some type of hate, but no, I forgot no, no, the no. question I, no, I was love Blake Griffin. I, for I sure. Say, like I just didn't really not hate, but I just didn't really like that Clippers scene because Chris Paul was a yeah, pass first ball. Yeah, yeah. Chris Absolutely. Paul. <laughs> I refuse ball, to let this happen. Pa- pass first ball. <laughs> That's the pass. I think first I became ball. like a real Blake Griffin fan. He, I think he was on Rick Glassman's show. It's mm-hmm. like a podcast. And on every, some funny shit. Everybody know that he's like a dry humor funny <laughs> yeah. dude. But like it was an hour and a half of that. And I'm like, oh. Like I was on a plane to, to Atlanta for whatever shoot. And I was listening to him like, oh, this man is hilarious. And I think that was the year after... Detroit. So I became a fan of him <laughs> right when his career started to crash. <laughs> but no, that, that's that's a good one. That is a good point that you brought up, not just outside of the interview part. Blake Griffin working on that jump shot, it definitely added probably extra four to five. Yeah. I don't want to, nah, am I, maybe I'm doing stretching to too much. Added an extra three years for sure. I mean, sure. the injuries definitely took away, but I mean, yeah. that jump shot helped him for after sure. the injuries. Because sure. he was working on it the entire time. Even when he wasn't shooting like in game shots, mm-hmm. he was actually behind the scenes like shooting a lot in practice, but didn't feel comfortable enough to do it in game until like he perfected it put that in quotation marks and I mean, it's funny shot did have a little hitch in it yeah it did it, he yeah. held it long Remember too he but about 50 something in, a, in like one of the first games of the season i think that was a year with the pistons right with, yeah it was yeah. with the pistons i'm like man oh, the year great. i picked him as my dark horse mvp the clippers started off fire like they was four and oh he was putting up mvp numbers and i remember T- kenny the jet smith was like watch out now uh, Blake Griffin could find his way in the MVP conversation, and you know what happened? Because he, he got was, hurt. I mean, he wasn't Giannis, but, but he, he was did a like, he could, yeah, he could yeah. do a little bit of everything. You he know? was, he was going. That's why when Chris Paul left, I'm like, sign me up for that because he gonna put up the numbers every time Chris Paul was hurt and he this, this, the offense ran through him. He would have those always, triple double flirting yeah. type games. So I really, I really enjoyed. It. Y'all got uh, interview clips? I got two. Oh. Uh, one of them is very recent because it's the first thing that came to mind. It's actually Jalen Green. Like, he's been on a hot oh, streak, I know one you and know. in a post-game interview, he's asked, like, what's the catalyst for this? And he was like, the, he's got a baby on the way and his yep. family and stuff. Obviously, there's some stuff. I already got three. Oh. <laughs> you saw that? Is that what you was no, saying? No, no. I read that he has – There, I don't know if it's true, but I just seen on my timeline the other day by a reputable source when it comes to reporting news that, that there is alleged two other women who are pregnant by him at the same time. Shit. Hopefully. I mean, we, when you're young, got money – you, you probably do still be dumb. safe, people. Please. NBA player problems. Whether you, I'm, I, well, mean, I, I mean, I know some people, people. I know some people that got the same stuff going <laughs> and on. And they ain't got NBA money. <laughs> don't get no. NBA money. Now nah, that is insane. It's even insane with NBA money, but not no, that yeah. You doing that with Aldi money? No disrespect to anybody that's working at Aldi, but did y'all uh, see Aldi, that one no. dude whose Fanduel winnings got like took because of child from? support? Yeah, because of child Damn. support. That's he, what he, he gets. flipped two dollars into fifteen hundred, and then Fanduel sent him an email saying that they took it. To send it to child like a collections agency. Yeah, probably. that's crazy. That that's what you that get. That's what you get. Pay you, that child Oh my support. god! You know the high he had of two to fifteen hundred <laughs> to be snatched away. <laughs> uh, my second one though. That's um, some Trey Sean shit. Two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> if you ain't putting ten, so tw- um, twenty six legger. Yo, le- the least amount should always be ten, man. If yeah. you don't, I'm, I'm not. And I, bro, I, don't I know, always, bro. Go, I, I always some... scroll through. I'll be scrolling through Reddit, and they have like people post their winnings or whatever. Dude was like, "This is my biggest win yet." It was like a nine legger. Crazy eyes. They say he won two hundred dollars. I looked at it. He said he put seventy five cents down. Oh, and the first reaction he had, first reaction he probably had was, "I should have put, put, put ten. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I'm not even a better. I don't yeah. bet. But there's like March Madness. I always feel good about my picks, so I'll put a little thing. In. I, it cannot. I got to do ten because the yeah. worst feeling is hitting it, and it's three dollars made two hundred when it could have made a thousand. Yeah, it's yeah. like ah. Uh, my my next one. Um, is when Joe Kim Noah said that thing about Cleveland. I, br- I <laughs> thought about that one, too. I thought about that one, too. Like, I ain't got nothing against Cleveland. We've been there. We had a dope time. Uh, but in that time, it was like, it was Maybe hilarious. Noah was right. It was. It was yeah. hilarious, yeah. yeah. What? You trying to you trying to take more digs. <laughs> Maybe Noah was right. <laughs> oh, he crazy. <laughs> hey, Cleveland or Indianapolis? Oh, shit. Indianapolis. I'll go there. Really? Or the Waffle House. 
But you, oh, no, oh, yeah, you we Waffle had, House. We had such a good time in Cleveland we that did. that is you are crazy. We bro. did. Our was, hotel was nice. He early. said, he Actually, said yeah. forget all that. The Them, food. Yeah, the Waffle House was it. We had a restaurants in the hotel. We did. We was clicked yeah. up with the home. No, yeah, that hotel was All the was activities were walking distance. That hotel was way better. Like we went so to the club. Better. Went to the club, yeah. yep. So I need a butcher. The butcher coming. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but for me, a quote was um, Anthony Edwards did an interview when he was like a rookie or sophomore, and like with a Popeyes in his hand. No, no was he talking that, about? Uh, when he was he, he was, was talking some, to the lady. Yeah, when he was with that lady, and that, he was I talking about him. what sports can't you play? And he was like, if it's a ball and it's a money on the line, I could do it. <laughs> and she was like, hockey. She said, he was like, I could do it. And he he pretty much just kept saying, <laughs> she was like cooking. Too, he was like, bro. I could do it. My thing is, but he's talking yeah. about like the baseball. He said. He said, "I was I was batting fourth. Yeah, know what that you means. You know what that <laughs> means. <laughs> 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 you know what position I played on defense? Shortstop too. <laughs> I'm like, he was like I'm a full fifth hitter. Like yeah. <laughs> that that confidence that he showed in that interview, you just see it on the court now. For sure. Did you peep when we played 2K? Y'all beat us that first game. I came with the ant build. The one no. that was dunking on people? No, I didn't. Yeah, that that's my court. Oh, I didn't notice it was a different build. I was just like, oh, he's just being more aggressive." I, yeah, that you ain't notice that that dude started windmilling on y'all head. <laughs> I did. I just thought I saw it come out of nowhere. I had I a, like, the first guy had a little thin, thin ass point guard that was just <laughs> just spotting up. This next game, this dude coming out windmilling on people. And he told I thought it was the same bill. Another just before we wrap this up, and I know all y'all gonna like this one. The dude went up there before the season and said. Why can't I be MVP? Why can't I be MVP? Why can't I? Yeah. And one MVP. Yeah, that's, that's a good that's one. That's one of the things speaking into existence. Yes. Yeah. I was actually just watching a mixtape that started. Well, it was a TikTok. Of that, it started with that clip, and then it was just the highlights. Oh, the highlights like, oh yeah. that made me want to hoop. I, I'll song? watch that and be it, like, "Let's go next song court. on it too." I forgot what song it was, but it was a. Oh, what's the perfect Derrick Rose song? It was of that era too. Damn, I cannot uh, remember what song it was. I remember J Cole. J Cole had a song in Derrick Rose. It was like Power Raid and J Cole and Derrick Rose. I, I forget. I don't know. J Cole got to got to fight back right now. <sighs> <after> <sighs> For real, man. Did. For real. Y'all <laughs> seen our DC video? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the man was sleeping in the J Cole shirt. <laughs> Why you? He said, "Why you sleeping fully clothed?" He said, "I knew something was up." That whole thing just funny because like J Cole recently just said it was th- them three at the top, mm-hmm. and then <laughs> he, he, just, he just came out and did something. Yeah, it's, it's just it's they, what rap needs right now. They though. all annoy me though. Yeah, I like them all, but they all annoy me because they all do this little patty cake. Mm-hmm. It's like nobody goes full throw. Even that what Kendrick did felt like here's some bait. Are y'all going? You know what I mean? Yeah, and then yeah. Drake and uh, or Cole is gonna be like. Subtly reply. They not going. Mm, 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 Star mm, bench mm. cut. Star bench cut. Drake Cole. I'm starting Drake. Okay. Kendrick. Uh, ah. Are we all starting Drake? KB not starting. I'm not Drake. starting Drake. You're I'm starting up. Kendrick. I'm starting Kendrick. I'm Y'all ben- I'm benching. Cole. I'm, I'm benching Kendrick. Drake. Yeah, I might. No, cut I'm Cole. benching Cole, and I'm cutting Kendrick. I'm doing the same thing. As I need me some Kate out of my I'm life. Cutting, I'm cutting Kendrick for the simple fact that I like to listen to music, <laughs> and if you're going five five years missing. Uh, it's not gonna be. <laughs> Section know, eighty man. was so great though. Uh, the fir- first three projects, yeah. four, they, four projects, the five projects. Yeah, no, he's not gonna miss. He's he just gonna, gonna take miss. a long time. Cole, and actually, I, I, I early Cole was also amazing. Like, I think Friday new Cole is, is dope too. Now I couldn't tell you the lyrics, but I'm like, like he just dropped a um a snippet to a freestyle, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was hard. I'm it like, was. okay, okay. Yeah. Orange Center is so fucking good, bro. That's one of those. Wasn't at the time people didn't enjoy it though. Huh? Didn't at the time people didn't enjoy it as much? I That's my favorite so. J. Cole album. It, I think it's probably my favorite too. But you're right. I mean, that, that was a little phase where the funny thing on Twitter was to say J. Cole is born, but the numbers always was like, he just broke a Spotify debut album record. <laughs> so I used to be like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. Because it's like it, it, the entire internet is saying he's born, but then he's breaking streaming records. So what what's really Somebody lying. Right. <laughs> uh, let's get to some, some NBA stuff. I want to start off with the G League Ignite being yes. shot. Yeah. Um Maybe out of nowhere? Did y'all feel like that was I about to happen? I had no idea. That mm-hmm. was I can't. I, I would be lying if I said I feel like it was going to happen, but it makes sense that it is happening. Right. With the NIL, the transfer portal. You know, remember the G League Ignite thing was for players to have an avenue to make money. Without going Without, without going, going to college. college yeah. uh, or without having to go all the way overseas like yes. Brandon Jennings had to do way back in the day. But now that you have NIL, 
guys are still just going to go to college. And some people are staying at college for years longer. Yeah. um, When they could have been drafted. And it just, it makes sense. I mean, this year, G League and I'm not going to act like I've been watching them. Did y'all know that they're 6 and 40? Yeah. I didn't know it was that bad. (laughs) They were awful. They're 6 and 40, bro. (laughs) That's No no, no exaggeration. No, no, I know. That's I knew we were going to talk about that, talk about it today. So I went and I like having it up. single digit wins when you just have like a surplus amount of games is crazy. They're, I know, no yeah. exaggeration to you all and the viewers. They are six and forty. Mm-hmm. Damn, I know. Uh, and they have like real NBA players. Like they have two yeah. lottery picks minimum. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Anthony because he sends us like the notes for all the games and everything like that. But um, they were talking about the Pistons and the Wizards. Like one of the worst records out of seventy games since like the Sixers, who were nine and sixty one. And I'm like. I can't even tune into a game at that nine yeah. and sixty one. That's you a scheduled crazy. loss on the on the on the and then on the calendar. Sadly for the Wizards, Bilal out for the, the year. You yeah. know what I mean? Pistons, Amin Thompson. Is, I mean, uh, Asar. Mm-hmm. That's some scary you know what stuff. You know what I mean? But, but like, yeah, it's that weird time of the year where injuries are starting to like pile up. A lot of people are, are limping to the finish line for sure. That's yeah. the one thing that if I was a fan of a team like that, that I would just be trying to at least see my young players play. Sure. And if yeah. you can't get that, then I don't know what you're getting, but. The G um, League Ignite is supposed to be a place for kids to go in and be able to make some money while while playing basketball, but also it's supposed to be like, oh, he's going to get real NBA competition. Yes, exactly. Oh, uh, this player was in the NBA four years ago, and now he's in a G League. That has not developed. Like, how many players have gone from G League Ignite and looked ready for the NBA? I used to argue that with my guy Combo. We used to do, like, Friday Night Light Spaces <laughs> back when Twitter Spaces yeah. was popping. And that was one of the biggest arguments I had about the G League um, was like, you're technically playing against NBA talent, but you're not playing against NBA talent because a lot of those guys that are in the G League, they don't, they don't, they're not making the NBA. Like mm-hmm. there are players that get called up and will make a team and can play some minutes. We see uh, Quinn Owens for the Warriors. He was a guy that played G League and is now on their roster. But majority of the people in the G League are not going to be NBA players. When you play college basketball and you're playing at the high level that a lot of these guys get recruited at, you're playing against your peers that you're probably about to face in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Like Duke versus North Carolina or um, Illinois against Purdue. That's, you know, Terrence Shannon is going to the NBA. Zach Eady is going to the NBA. Like, yeah, every – don't get me wrong. Majority of the kids in college ain't going to the NBA either because it's like 400 schools. But you get what I'm saying. You're playing against your peers. Mm -hmm. Um so I didn't ever see the clear-cut, super high advantage. Mm-hmm. I, I saw this, like, sometimes if your rookie come in, they maybe need some more time to develop. There's not a lot of minutes there for them on the main roster. You can send it down to the G League, let them get their confidence, their skills set up and all that. And I thought that that sometimes was beneficial. We saw them. We saw a few teams do it, like with Jarris Walker. He went down, and we saw him go down there and go crazy. I know Johnny Davis, he went down there, and he was still – he really went on shit still, but like <laughs> you still see guys go down there and they like build themselves up and then mm-hmm. they come back. Nicole Ovage even played down there for a little bit. Well, no, that's going to stay. The G League Ignite team is what's leaving. Okay. The G yeah, League yeah, is all still team, The, the be- benefit of this is like all 30 teams will have an official G League affiliate. Like that mm-hmm. wasn't always the case. Some teams were yeah. sharing. Yeah. I'm with you. I've never really seen like the crazy advantage. I did kind of notice that like I feel like you get used to. The physicality to the NBA a little bit more. Like a lot of mm-hmm. these players, they already have like, I don't know if they're getting, they're also getting like the NBA training with it, NBA Absolutely workouts and all yeah. that type. But like you can see they, they're coming into their body a little bit earlier than they would if they would have probably done the same thing in the college. You know, but I, but that's the part to me where I thought about that too. But college has weightlifting and training yeah, programs. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we talk about players that would have been like going to a big blue. It's not yeah, like these players yeah. would have been at mid-major. So we're talking about mm-hmm. million-dollar programs, million-dollar uh, workout Ron machines. Ron Holland was going to Texas. Like, yeah, he would have been fine. He would have had the maybe not the same, but very comparable uh, amenities and things like that. The only argument I see in favor of the G League is, like, you get the simulation of an NBA player's life where you can focus on that all day. Because right. when you go to college, technically you still have classes and semesters and college campus. Yeah, them and geography like majors. That. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. <laughs> An interesting point I seen a random person comment on whatever I was reading, and I think it was a fabulous point. I never understood the necessity for every single one of them to be on the same exact team. <laughs> no, I a hundred, I a hundred percent agree. Though. I think it was just a marketing thing. Mm. Like, oh, you want to see the future of the NBA? Come to watch this team instead of right. like trying to convince somebody to watch come to a G League game. 
it's tough, I think. Yeah. It's just going to be objectively tough. But you could say, hey, Ron Holland is a lottery pick. I don't know how to pronounce the dude's name Mattis from here. Be zealous. Yes, he's a lottery <laughs> pick. So let's go. You can go watch them at a one singular spot. But For I agree. Sure. If they would have let it be like, oh, he's on the Iowa Wolves and this guy is on the Mad Ants, it just probably would be better. Um, as far as having people go straight from high school to the G League, but they, they sold it really well when Wimby and Vic. Mm-hmm. I mean, Wimby and Vic. Scoot. Wimby and Scoot was able yeah. to clash. Like, in, that, in that was Vegas a, game. Yeah, that was a v- big deal. So I could only imagine what it would have been like if it's like. Mattis Buzelis versus Ron Holland or Jalen Green team versus Kamingas or whatever, but putting them all in the same. Because the person was making a parallel to college. Like normally, if I play small four and Derek plays small four, unless we bros, and we, you know, he's probably going to go to Duke and I'm going to say, well, I ain't going to Duke then. I'm they got this small four. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. going over here. Unless we, again, like this and we just going to put this, this star-studded class together. You normally not – Scoot Henderson and Dyson Daniels probably wasn't committed to the same school. Right. You know what I mean? Like, they're overlapping each other. It just hasn't been a ton of success stories in, what, the three-year, four-year run. Um, Jalen Green, again, we mentioned, has been playing better. Jonathan Kamiga has been playing better. But these guys took two seasons in the actual NBA yeah. to get to the point where we're, like, thinking about them as real NBA players. Uh, even, like, a guy like Dyson Daniels looked better this season. But, mm-hmm. it, you know what I'm saying? Scoot's well starting soon. to slowly look better. After. Yeah. He did start off a little rough. But then he started – He there was like a developmental thing that he had to go through. Right, and that's just a, a, a point against the idea because the idea, again, is to come in, we plan against NBA talent. So once we get to the real NBA, everything going to be cool. No no, say, no, it's no, like a, none of those guys came onto the like scene. It's like really nice. for like a cheat sheet, but it ain't no cheat sheet. Honestly. You're going through the you same gotta adjustment get to the NBA and get that a college the same player. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot yeah. of those dudes' stock goes down. Like Leonard Miller went to the, the G League Ignite, projected to be a lottery pick. Yeah. He was not that. Now you know, he's sitting on uh, Minnesota's bench. And even, like, I just read a, a mock draft earlier today, and mocks are all over the place for the 2024. Um, no, I was actually thinking about Ron Holland. Uh, like, yeah. Ron Holland's projected to be, like, top fives. Some of the mocks I've seen today had him outside. So, like, a lot of these guys are fall. I think Jalen Green, stock stayed the same. He went in as the number two projected pick going into G League tonight. He was drafted number two. I think Jonathan Kamingo went in as the, uh, the seventh. And I think he was drafted seventh or eighth. So yep, like he those said his range, yeah. guys stay, but like pretty much everybody else outside of those top guys fail once they end up going to the G League Ignite. You know who the guy I was intrigued in on who like puffed and went away? Um, Isaiah Todd. Yes, I really yes. liked Isaiah Todd's game coming out of high school and potentially going to college. I forget what college uh, Isaiah Todd was going to, was going to go to. And even when he went to the G League, I was like, you know, everybody talking about Jalen Green and Kamingo, rightfully so. But I'm looking at this Isaiah Todd kid. <laughs> And I think he could have um, he could have some some game. He was tall, had the jump shot or whatever. I think he went to the Wizards, and I was trying to keep up with him, and uh, nothing really materialized. And it's the same thing uh, with Jordan Miller. I'm hoping doesn't happen because I think Jordan Miller really has good Leonard game. Miller. I mean, yeah, what, what, what? Jordan Miller? Jordan Who the Miller. hell is that? Leonard Miller. Jordan, thank you for yeah, correcting Jordan me. Miller. Yeah. Leonard Miller, I thought was a really good player. I think he's still a really good player, and I think he could be a uh, um, Jordan Miller. I don't know what the hell am I thinking. Who Leonard, is that though? <laughs> Leonard Miller, uh, I think could be a little bit of a steal. I think. Give I him thought some Leonard time. Miller was a steal. Yeah, I think he still can be though. Yeah, still no, early. Still like, early. Don't don't follow the hype train, emails. <laughs> we gotta keep it going. Leonard Miller got game, man. He got real game. I can't remember off the top of my head where Dyson Daniels. Jordan was. Miller is in the G League, by the way. <laughs> Jordan Miller went to Miami. He, he did go lefty. to Miami. He went to Miami. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That's funny because Leonard Miller is also a lefty. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Except this one went to college. He played for Jim Laranega at, at, at Florida. I forget who drafted him. Whoever drafted him put him in a G League um, where he's hooping. But he ain't a G League Ignite affiliate. But, yeah, Jordan Miller. But, the, yeah, the Millers, the lefty Millers. Um, it, it was a worthy uh, shot for sure. from yeah. the NBA. Another, that's where I thought you was going at the top of the show. With uh, Adam Silver, another thing where we just we trying. If yeah. it works, it works. If it doesn't, we move on, and that's all you can really ask for out of your commissioner is to 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 try things and be willing to fail. I like he's willing to make changes or like try to experiment and try different things. Like the play in was a big success, not the play in the um, in season tournament, mm-hmm. big success. It added some buzz within in November when it's probably a little dead a little bit. So he definitely changes the game a little bit. He's one of the more progressive. Commissioners in in sports today, yeah, which we appreciate. I was talking to somebody yesterday. They said they ain't watched basketball since the in season tournament. Wow! So that mean maybe Who that, that this my uh, my girl sister boyfriend. Okay. It, it don't even really okay. Work. But it was just funny because I was like, maybe that might have been the reason he was tuned in yeah. for the in season tournament. He'll so. come back for the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what everybody do. 
I mean, that's wild, though. You really don't like basketball <laughs> at all. There's not a drop of basketball in, in you. So his opinion about Zion is still what happened three months ago. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. crazy. That would be crazy that if, if he is still walking around with the yep. that last image that he saw. Was like, I mean, he's just like, dude. Man, he out of shape. <laughs> uh, speaking of Zion, uh, his teammate Brandon Ingram went down with what we now know is a bone bruise. Hyperx in the knee. And yeah. he'll keep him out for at least two weeks, um, which is the best case scenario because that yes. injury looked really bad. It's also the same thing that Donovan Mitchell is going through with the Cleveland Cavaliers that has hindered him from playing at peak value um, when he was healthy. So even though it is a two-week prognosis right now, I just, I'm just i still a little bit afraid about what he'll look like when he come back. Yeah. Because um, bone bruises suck, man. Mm-hmm. And it was you ever like, had one? No, thank God. Any I don't play sports No. Enough. I never had like a significant thing, The worst thing I've had so far is like a sprained ankle, like a bad one. I didn't sprain my ankle for the first time since I was like 22. <gasps> That's crazy. Damn. I Do you like I, remember that story? Uh, no, yeah. I was I was hooping at a gym by myself because it was a point in time where I just wanted to get some cardio in. I'm, oh, okay. I'm on a, on one half of the court. It's, it's a couple dudes. To go to? Yeah. Okay. The, uh, not the arc. But anyway, um, it was a couple dudes playing a, a 32 on the you other side. You told me this story. I'm just <laughs> shooting around, right, doing normal basketball stuff. And one day I go up for a layup and I come down right on the ball. How you laying on the ball by yourself? They playing 32 ball ended up on this side. Nobody oh. said, look out. Ball. Yeah, you're supposed to say ball, ball. Nothing. And I'm sitting there with a spring. Uh, he said uh, that like, shit was embarrassing. Nobody you know crazy? said nothing. You know how big that gym is? I can just imagine it him ended walking. Up that one spot. It, I'm just imagining him walking all with a limp all the way back and they just watching him. <laughs> what if they were to add, like, can we get our ball back? I, I just I, I threw it back <laughs> to oh, him. No, on, on the floor? I just threw it back to him. Y'all got to get that ba- Basketball courtesy. It's etiquette. It's basketball It's rule in basketball that if your it ball was ball, ball. all of them had on New Balance on. And not no Jamal Murray New Balance. Not but, Kawhi Leonard New Balance. They were not hoopers. They don't know the etiquette. That's funny, though, because one time we was there hooping, and a dude was had next, and he was shooting, and he kept letting the ball roll. And I had to, like, check him a little bit because he kept letting the ball roll. But I, and like y'all uh-huh, saying, yeah. etiquette, I told him, like, hey, bro, because we was checking up, and I walked outside, like, hey, bro, you might want to get that ball because one of us, I ankle up. I'm on your ass. <laughs> you remember? At, at that, the, you know, I'm on your ass. Y'all remember at the Plex when he used to be busting and like a ball roll, like a little kid ball would roll onto the court. People kick it. They all kick. They all yeah, walk. That's, they used to throw that to the pond, into the pool. I'm like, bro, y'all gotta <laughs> to stop. The pool? Into would, the pool. I never did participate oh, in nothing like that, but that definitely they, had they occurred. They used to definitely punt people balls if your ball rolled onto the big yeah. court. But. Mike is putting key, they, I don't think they would do it to them little itty bitty kids. <laughs> but like, if we was hooping and Derek Ball. The eighth grade Derek Ball is going over there. He's like, hey, bro, you're taking that ball. <laughs> but, yeah, um, on the bright side for the Pelicans, like we saw last night, they have a young, hungry guy who plays the same position as Brandon Ingram and Trey Murphy the third. So I think them having the luxury of depth um, can at least allow them to maintain. And I yeah. think with Zion's emergence of uh, trying to get back into that light and, 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 and taking the reins of his team, I think they still have enough, man. And we saw last night, CJ McCollum. He, I was about he, to say, I think that's their lot. best asset. Is yeah. Their depth. Yeah. I mean, I know we always talk about how, like, we could resign or B.I. could be a little bit more on the scoring average, but it just speaks volume to how many scores they honestly do have. I mean, even Valachunas, he still ain't no, so he could still get in where he can. So they have a lot of uh, people that can go out Larry there and get Nance, Larry Jones, Nance, your, Herb Jones. Your, your CJ McCollum is definitely, he's been turned up. He's been turned up, especially shooting the ball from deep. Unfortunately for him, it's going to be the first time he won't average 20 in a very long time. But I yeah. think it's been a really good season for CJ. Of course, yeah. I mean, I think, the I think whole, it's like 18 and some change. I mean, they do a thing where it's like mm, back can't get it no 12 games. Do it he got to have like at least a couple 30-point games in there. Yeah, yeah the 40 ball up. Say that again. They got to do it by committee. Um, yeah. But unfortunately for them, I thought they were a team that could really fight for home court advantage. They got a tough stretch coming up where they play the Pistons tomorrow, which is, <laughs> you know, that should be a layup. Mm-hmm. But then they go Thunder, then they go Bucks. Then they go Celtics. Then they For go sure. Suns. Then they go Magic. All home I, games I'm so them. sad All about it though, too. because this was the stretch I was looking forward to to see them play against but that top with, competition. Yeah. But without Brandon Ingram, it's like we can't gauge anything. Yeah, no, what if they? But, what if they? What if they in that stretch whew. went five and one, four and two? Five and one, four then and I two. Feel then I feel really very, good about Trey Murphy Zion starting Williams next season. And just really just put his head down. He was just on his all, all NBA type level. Yeah, like that's that's what they're gonna need. They're gonna need him and CJ and Trey Murphy to come out and be this like big three headed monster. 
CM3, stretch. man. I, I love his game, bro. Who? Uh, Trey Murphy. I just oh, did yeah. an episode of my podcast where I did 25 under 25. Yeah. Um, and Trey Murphy was extremely high for me. When mm. I think about potential, he's extremely high. He mm-hmm. does everything you would want from a wing. He shoots a three-point ball well. And he the, the kind of stats. Dunk sounds like, like posters. He can, yeah, he, yeah, he, dunk contest yeah. type guy, defends well. He does everything I could potentially like. His archetype is there. Yeah. And um, after a slow shooting start after his surgery and everything, yeah. he's putting it together more and more. I think I had him. Actually, I could check my notes. I had him high. That was my favorite. I don't, I don't blame you. That was my favorite prospect in that draft class. I kept saying, that is the guy. That is the guy. They had an amazing Memphis. draft. They drafted him and then Herb Jones. Yes. Oh, wow. What a, what a crazy draft. draft they had. I had him um, in Memphis two C. passed on him. Two C? He, oh. he was in the same tier. As Darius Garland, Jaron Jackson, and Evan Mobley for me. Interesting. Yeah. That's the comments are like Kenny's tripping. We'll I guess we'll see. Yeah. I mean, same that tier is an, who I'm that sorry. That's an elite tier of guys. DG, Jaron Jackson Jr., and Evan Mobley. And all those dudes have like all star appearances, DPOYs yeah. and DPOY yeah, runner ups. But it's yeah, also like, like <laughs> Trey Murphy's also <laughs> playing behind like all star like talent. Yeah. Yes. So I, he just needs to be unleashed eventually. Yeah. Um, also, people didn't like where I had Scotty Barnes, which is like where was he? Two B, same place as Kay Cunningham, J Dub, and Brandon Miller. Where was he supposed to be at? They think he should be a two way, because I have Alprin shouldn't go two way. Because I'm high on Alprin in a couple years being a star, Lamelo and Tyrese Max. They think he should be on that tier, which I ain't mad at. You know, I think he could exist on that tier. I just have him a tier below. I mean, I think I do not the, think no. Alprin should go in. Scotty Barnes at the same level. Yeah, personally. and I think Lamelo is also above Scotty. I think he's a tier above him, and I also think Tyrese Maxey is also a tier above Scotty. So you I agree with that? Okay. I think you cooking with that one. They also said I was being a homer because I had Kobe White in the rank at all. How? Like, let me do my thing. Who is, is he? Who is he in a tier with? Uh, he's in a tier with Jonathan Kaminga, R.J. Barrett, and Jalen Duran. I don't think that's a bad tier. They're saying like <laughs> you missed out on like the Thompson twins or Jaime Hawkins. Oh. On no. that point, I'm taking oh. a man Thompson. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a man Thompson. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that for sure. Um, but it was a fun experiment to do. It was a fun experiment to do. Uh, before we go on to our next subject, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Sponsor, sponsor, yeah, that's me. Before we head out, can we get to our sponsor? You just gotta have D Mills dance instead of the sponsor <laughs> videos dance. one day. If y'all need me to. Y'all here. I'm good. Uh. Why should you bet with Caesar Sportsbook? Two words Caesar's Rewards. Every bet brings you closer to the type of benefits only Caesars can offer hotel stays, VIP experiences, sports and concert tickets, and more. It's not just an app, it's an empire. So today we wanna to talk about the best case scenario for every playoff team. How, how can they get to reach their ultimate goal? So I want to tell y'all this. <laughs> I was in bed last night. Yeah. I'm watching college basketball. I'm watching some NBA stuff. And I'm on my laptop. And I'm just, like, doing this this exercise. And just, just to get a, a picture in my mind. But I was having a hard time because I was doing teams. And I'm, this is their perfect thing. So are we doing legitimately perfect? Or are we saying perfect with a little bit of realism? Because I was having things like, I, I, for example, this is this is the perfectness that I had for the Boston Celtics. Okay, okay? and the Boston Celtics perfect situation: the Bulls somehow win the play in, go Bulls, go, and play them in at eight. That's a full game series. The Magic upset the Knicks, so the Celtics can play an inexperienced team in the second round, which mm-hmm. is the Magic. The Cavs somehow make it to the Eastern Conference Finals and the Celtics don't have to play the Bucks or the Six or the Heat. And then the Mavericks <laughs> made it all the way to the finals, <laughs> a team that can't guard, and the Celtics were able to. So it's like same thing with the Bucks. I got the Bucks playing the Pacers in the first round, then the Heat, and then the Knicks, and then they play the Mavericks. Mm-hmm. So it's like <laughs> the Mavericks is everybody's yeah, like, perfect. We're going to end up having the Pacers <laughs> – or the Bulls be everybody's first round matchup. So mm-hmm. the Mavericks, in your mind, are the team that if the Celtics do meet in the finals, that's the team that they could cakewalk with, just because they don't defend. I just think, yeah, I think they don't. Yeah, defend. They got the best tools sense. for it because I mean, they play just one on one straight up defense. Yes. So it's gonna the, be like Luca gonna have to probably be the up. counterpart to this is that if the Mavericks made it that far, they're doing something right. Mm-hmm. I feel like the perfect <laughs> world for them would be like them playing an injured Timberwolves team. Um, 
and then they get into the second round where then they play a Pelicans team who now then upset the Clippers miraculously. Right? Isn't that how that works? Like the three, yeah. the winner uh, three no. six plays the it winner of four five, right? No, it would be the winner of, of two seven. Two seven? Yeah. So then somehow they play the Suns. And we know they've already had their number on the Suns in the, in the past. So let's start a team. Let, let's find a team to start with. Let's start off with the Boston Celtics because okay. that's where we started off originally. Yeah. I think their perfect scenario is them avoiding the Miami Heat. Yes. yes. Anybody after that you feel great with? They're too familiar with them. Yes. The, you just. I think if you walk out of that and be like, oh, my God, it's not the Heat in the first round, that you feel A-OK against every other team. What mm-hmm. if they do end up playing, playing Maxie and Joel? I would still feel – Joel just coming back to, I still feel pretty good. I was trying to keep them avoided from them. That's why I had them playing Chicago. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because I didn't want them to play either one of those teams. No, mm-hmm. yeah. I still just don't think you want to go into a playoff series knowing you, in the first round, knowing you got to go against Joel and Bede, mm-hmm. regardless of what the stipulation is. Who would you rather play, Joel and Bede or the Miami Heat, who's extremely familiar with you? Uh, that's they, tough. They've, they've won series against the 76ers over the last couple of years. That's so tough because they can't really say the same against the Miami Heat. Yeah, that's, that's even with home court advantage. Yeah, that's why I'm probably leaning towards Sixers. I would rather go against a 70, 80 percent Joel and B mm-hmm. than a fully healthy. Jimmy. And don't that's get me wrong. Too. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. We may be overthinking this is a new Celtics team. This is. A Miami Heat team can't score say, for nothing. Is, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they weren't they, able to do that last bro. year though. <laughs> Until yeah, until it matter, right? <laughs> Yesterday was so But I don't so remember them ever looking like this though. Yeah. So At least I they had, always had excuses. I had my eye on on three games last night. Also, Pacers Warriors. Um, not a not an ad, but YouTube TV having that four box for March Madness is beautiful. Yeah, mm. I agree. But I got my computer right. I have um, Cavaliers Timberwolves mm-hmm. must watch. You know, injuries on yep. both sides still must watch. Shout out to Jaden McDaniels. The the Warriors. And the Pacers, much watch for me too. Last time they played against you, I think Andrew Nimhart had 31 points in like a crazy game. And I'm like, you know what? Let me tune in to another one of my guys. Pelicans versus Heat. I want to see how the Pelicans look without Brandon Ingram. I want to see what's going on with the Heat. Now, Duncan Robinson and Tyler Hero did not play. That, me- that meant a lot. Tyler Hero hasn't played in like a month now, so it's yeah. been out for a while. Mm-hmm. And I maybe watched five minutes of this game, and I was like, I should be doing better things with my life. <laughs> <laughs> it was so bad. And obviously, again, they're missing their most lethal three-point shooter. They started off Robinson. good, too. I think it was like 7-0 start. Well, I ain't get in in the beginning. Okay. But I'm just – it's just tough, man. And listen, I understand he fans. Y'all going to ride with y'all team as you should. But you can't get mad at me for watching this game and being like, y'all ain't – it ain't the year. It's just not the year. It's not the same. It's just not the same. I don't feel the same with them. But that's also my argument to not – he fans maybe agree with this. I don't know. But that's also a little bit of my argument is like this should – you should not want this. This shouldn't be your strategy or your recipe. I've seen it yeah. both ways on Heat Twitter because um, on my show I did uh, – a couple episodes ago I did like um, on a scale of 1 through 10, how confident am I in with the team going into the playoffs? And I think I hit the Miami Heat like a 4, right? Um, and I explained that like there are only like five to something people that I trust more than Jimmy Butler in the playoff series. I trust Bam Adebayo in the playoffs. I tr- trust the best playoff coach in the league in Eric Spoelstra. But something about it still is not making me confident. And I saw some people like, man, this was what they said last year. We're going to run it back. We're going to do it again. And I also saw a period of a, a, a group of Heat fans like, I actually want to see this team get not embarrassed, but I want to see them lose so that will put some pressure on the front office to make some changes. So I mean, it's, it's probably yeah. split right. 50-50. Think about how, like, hot – the Heat had got from like on an offensive stage. Like Caleb Martin couldn't miss. Yep. Like he was putting up 20 plus points for Max Gabe Vincent. Max Schultz and Gabe Vincent. Max Schultz, your, Gabe Vincent. Your, your, your team with that jacket gave dude the contract. I, I, yeah. I seen Gabe Vincent yesterday. <laughs> Look up. He got the Jim Jones braids. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he been in street clothes basically all you know, year. You ever seen the Jim Jones braids? <laughs> you know who Gabe Vincent looked like with them who, braids? Y'all who? ever seen the Medea movie? He looked like Shamar Moore oh my God. in that Medea movie, bro. bro. Who one of our cousins just posted that that Shamar Moore pictures? Like, is it a wig or is it not? That is a wig. One hundred percent. A thousand. One hundred percent. He had no lineup. Yeah, it was but just straight like, braid. <laughs> for the Heat to even think about, like they can make that run, like even close to what they did, they got to change the. They can't be putting up less than eighty points, ninety points a game, and it's like. Yeah. The offense y'all had last year, that was like perfect for y'all. Cause y'all, y'all are so the heat culture is they gonna make it 
grit and grind every damn game. You know, muck the game up. They're yeah, going to do up. exactly that, but it's just like. You, you saw it, I tweeted? Yeah. Muck me. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, a lot of these teams, is too. they've been too hot and too skillful. They're going to knock down their shots, and you got to be able to catch up. And not every game going to be grit and grind. I think no fans don't really realize how much has to go right to have a run like that. Yeah. It's almost like being a college team that go on a Cinderella run in March and then say, hey, Y'all ready to do it again this year? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to purposely come in and be a low seed yeah. so we can come in and we can upset the big dogs year in and year out. That's going to be our strategy because it worked the last time. It's like it was great. It was amazing. I I, I sure as hell enjoyed it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I just don't think that it's a recipe that you should continue trying to do. That's why a lot of these teams play year in, year in, trying to get seeding because it is, it's very important and it's taxing. And we already see y'all getting banged up before the playoffs start. Yeah. Last episode at the end of it, we asked, like, who y'all got winning the NCAA tournament? You said who? Kentucky they got. And you said e. who? Northwestern. Okay. Northwestern won. They beat Florida Atlantic. They did. Barely. Which I, I, I had, but Kentucky lost, which I didn't have. Mm-hmm. I didn't have. My bracket is so busted that I can't take no more. Well, didn't you, and did, did you, take, you up uh, here saying you were high on Kentucky this year? I was. Did I you had to take uh, JMU. Huh? Did you take JMU? Yes, I did. They beat Wisconsin. They they look good. Uh, I took JMU. I took Northwestern. Uh, I took Auburn, who lost to Yale, mm-hmm. but to two Illinois boys. Um, did y'all see that B. John Robinson's bracket was perfect through two was days? Perfect yep. yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yep. I like that is impossible, bro. If he, I know this is not probably what, but if he. Put money on every word. Like, put it together yeah, parlay. Like, yeah. He would walk out with like you millions know and millions nah, of dollars. Nah, because it's going to sound like an ad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no no more ads, no more plugs. Uh, okay, perfect scenario for the Boston Celtics. So we've agreed. Hold on, that- hold on. I got to say one of my favorite players, DJ Burns. Yeah, Zach Randolph. They call it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, From no. He's, State. Nice. He got a game, nice. bro. I don't know. I ain't know his name, but when you say Zach Randolph, I had to look it up because I wanted to make sure. That was is, he on, is he league bound? That I don't know. I you tell me with your own two eyes if you think he lead back. And I, I don't hate. I've only I, seen like highlights. I, I hate putting the highlights made him look tall. Yeah. Yeah. I hate spin move every play. <laughs> okay. and yeah. From that perspective, that's I've all. only watched highlights. Though. Right, right, right. right. Okay, okay. okay. I don't like putting nothing on nobody. Yeah, he can do whatever he wants. Who do. also was going nuts? Um, Audi Crooks. She had forty points. Oh, that one. Mm-hmm. Eighteen yeah, I of twenty. That, yeah. 18, 18 of twenty, and they were down twenty. Yes. Bro. they came back and won. Yes. That's why they saying the girls is gonna be. The women's uh, bracket will be more exciting than the boys' bracket. I seen uh, uh, the or the men. I think it was Princeton's girl, team. Huh? Princeton got a they. Princeton got a nice team over there. For, oh, the, for, for the women's? women's, yeah, I, uh, they had a really nice record too. Uh, but they had like a lot of block shots. I'm like, you damn. know, homie from the Pistons. That's where he came from, Princeton. The one that has the weird last name that you probably oh, see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The Pistons. The thing about the women's bracket, though, a lot of times, like, at the end, it's usually, like, a bunch of number one and number two seeds. Like, there's not a lot of upsets with, I like, the higher of, seeds. I kind of like that. That's cool with me. I, I, like that. The, I, wish the, I like upsets, but I'd be like, bro, Auburn had a top ten defense and offense, <laughs> and you lost to Yale. Come Illinois on, man. Illinois boys, baby. Illinois boys. For sure. So we've agreed that if they had to Nico pick Valley. between... <laughs> if they had to pick between Miami and the 76ers, we all agree that they it's prefer the, the 76ers. Because I'm not looking at the Bulls or the Hawks as like any realistic right, yeah. for, for sure. Call me in tomorrow. That's what I need to know. Are we really being fantasy? I think it just fantasy? somewhat realism with it. Yeah, just yeah. somewhat. You so know, yeah. We could stretch it a little bit. <clears throat> Philadelphia. Best, best case scenario is Philadelphia and Joel and B doesn't come back. That's like yes. greatest. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that shit would be so boring. <laughs> I don't know, Maxi. He he tried to get y'all that. Well, they are putting him did. in a. They will, but, hey, he will have we Derek don't got Derek White and Drew Holiday to hang him. Okay, I'm not a better. Yeah, but because I won for March, I had just some money in my account, so I just put one together, and uh, I almost, almost won a stack. But Maxi couldn't make threes that game. Bro, they, everything hit except a lot. The, uh, the threes. The next round would have either. The Magic or the Knicks? What's a better scenario for, for them? The, for the, uh, absolutely, the the, uh, absolutely the Magic. The Magic yeah. have played them very well this season. I just think the Magic are so y- young, they're inexperienced, and they don't have the three point shooting. And I think with the, the defense three point shooting the is a big Celtics thing. Well, have, am I getting fully healthy Knicks? Because I would much rather go against a team that don't have Randall and OG and an Obi. That's a well, I think question. you. Yeah. I think you're going to have OG and an Obi. I, you keep putting OG in the spot like he's Julius Randle. I think. But OG you know, I've seen a lot of conflicting stuff. Did y'all see the report about the guy that was like, "Yeah, um, OG Ananobi 
doesn't like to play through injury. Yeah, he doesn't I like to play that. through injuries. Um, so like, if he's still, but I just watched him play injury. forty minute game through an injury, and then he just decided not to play <laughs> because <it's, laughs> because it swelled up. Yeah, that's different than playing through True. injury. If 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 you have a knee soreness and you play through it, and then your knee gets swollen. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the well, same thing. Well, you know that man, co- that man question. coach will play him 48 minutes, especially yeah. the playoff game. So I mean, he got to be as healthy as can be when he when uh, he's available. Would you rather play the young Orlando Magic or the beat up Knicks? And let's oh, again, assu- yeah. let's assume OG is there, but let's say beat up in the sense that Julius Randle's not. Because again, what the hell is happening? And with Mitchell Robinson, Robinson if, you said Julius Randle's yeah. not there. I might go against the Knicks, yeah. honestly, because I mean, the Magic they are inexperienced, but they they have a lot of tools to like. They they could take you a couple games in if you not if you playing with your food. I'm gonna I'm 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 going Magic. I like mm-hmm. they are a really good team. They're really hungry. They're extremely young, and the future is bright. But I think in a seven game series, which would be Jamal Mosley's first coaching in the playoffs as well. I want all of that inexperience against my Boston Celtics. You got a point. If I'm if I'm running, I'm saying the Boston Celtics is like they my team, but like if I own them or ran them. Yeah. It's like they're just so inexperienced and there's such a lack of three point shooting and you got Paolo who I think you can really key in. The Knicks have played well even with some of these bodies being down because we have so much depth and experience and we are well coached and we have a legitimate all NBA player running the show who you can't really speed up. You cannot speed up Jalen Brunson. And I think the Celtics don't have too much to worry about because they have White and uh, Holiday, which just go just go double team Jalen Brunson, damn it. <laughs> J- Josh Hart, That's shoot 11 I, I feel like some of the similarities with the Magic and the Knicks is like the Celtics, regardless, they going to make Josh Hart knock down three. They going to make, you know, Jalen Suggs. And I, like they're going to make – the role players knock down three. That's what scares me personally. Thing. If yeah. I'm going against the Knicks, is they have these dudes that just like they relentless. Like Josh, Josh Hart, Hart is, is not a guy I want to yeah. see. He's just not a guy I want to be playing against in a seven. Even if we're going to win, he's just going to make me work so much. He's going to brew somebody up. He's going to have a game where he can muck it up and get 14 rebounds. Oh you God. know what's funny? Um, I was I saw <laughs> I was watching like clip out. Precious like, will beat podcast, your ass. And like Jalen Brunson was like. Y'all might love, but he, y'all might love Judge Hart in the games, but he's like the worst practice player ever. Because he goes so hard. You no, know, he don't do anything. Oh, he okay. said he, he said he doesn't really show. He doesn't really like play hard. And Hart was just like, why would I go that hard at practice when I got to do it in the, in the game? game. I burn yeah. myself out for yeah. sure. I, that I makes all the sense in the world. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Man played every minute in the game. Hard <laughs> style will make <laughs> you work. We just got a bunch of dudes that's gonna make you work too much. The Magic, I just take I think my they chances. are the. Like on paper, they have more talent just because I'm not including OG and Randall. But like, when you talk about toughness and like grittiness, the the Knicks are, are that like they they embody that. That's a pivotal thing that he just brings. So yeah, I actually might it might be more magic now. I love just because I think it's, it it might be a little tougher for the Knicks. Yeah, I'll make all good points and I'll probably agree. But goddamn, I want to see the Magic win. I'm yeah. sorry, it's gonna be the first time I'm rooting against the Knicks. Oh, in Actively, real life, yeah, yeah, we they ass ain't winning nothing. I'll tell you that. We we gonna <laughs> we gonna beat the hell out of the Magic. We are clip it, Orlando Magic. Hollow finna get y'all thirty. Magic. All right, so okay, so he we gonna, agree. That move we're gonna have thirty out of the seventy five. <laughs> 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 we uh, just beat them single. Uh, short yeah, I'm about to say you talking about seventy five. Y'all didn't have any four. Their second best player either, though. We didn't have second or third. Jalen Brunson. I mean, uh, Jalen Suggs was not there, so. Okay, What's I thought that round? was cool. All right, so yeah, I'm not reacting to that BS. <laughs> conference finals. Uh, I guess how do how do we play conference finals? So right now it would be like Cavs or Bucks. 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 You prefer yeah. the Cavs. Yeah, you, you prefer, prefer the, Cavs. the Cavs. You prefer the Cavs. Yeah, you don't want to go against name and Giannis. And I and, and that's and also I feel, how realistic. I, and I want to put this out there to everybody who's watching because all of these fans are super super sensitive for whatever reason, as if these organizations pay their bills. When we say you much rather, it is no slight, man. We're just saying. Like Orlando Magic fans, you don't have to get your panties in a bunch. Cleveland Cavalier, y'all teams are all good. We're saying we're gonna say the same thing about my Knicks at some point. Somebody's gonna much rather face the Knicks than somebody else. You know what I mean? Like when the opposite happens, the Bucks, they will much rather face the Knicks in the conference finals than the Celtics. We're gonna probably say that. And I yeah. won't get offended because it's the damn truth. So mm-hmm. I just wanna put that out there. Because I do think Cleveland is really, 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 really good. Yeah. But I would much rather face them than have to face Ant- uh, Antetokounmpo and Damian Lillard. Person, that's just me personally. Yeah. 
I don't know how y'all feel, but if you have, I don't want to go against that dude that will literally run through a wall. Yeah, I, I don't want to go against him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially like the Cavs. They they are good, Donovan and Darius Garland. But when you talk about Damian Giannis, it's a lot. It's a I mean, that's, that's, that's get not back. even a duo. Who is Donovan and Jared Allen? Oh, there you go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Donovan got to get back. Yeah, and get get back good. Yeah, <laughs> on top of it. Yeah, since All Star break, what, eighteen points per game. Yeah, yeah, bad efficiency and everything. All right, so finals. I think for Efficiency's the Celtics, is overrated. <laughs> okay, Donovan, man, he's, man, he's taking those shots regardless. That you just true. want them to go in. He do take for sure, for sure. But whether he's efficient or not, damn it, you take. I think the efficiency is more of an indication that he doesn't look he- uh, healthy. Yeah, absolutely. more than anything. Like Paolo's not efficient. I don't give a damn about Paolo not being efficient. Yeah, it's just about you know for Donovan Mitchell, who's a, a, effectively efficient every other time, to hip, have him not be efficient it's like. Something must be going on with that bone bruise. Yeah, no, absolutely, for sure. We definitely want them to make as many shots as possible. Um, for them, the Celtics, the best case scenario for them is anybody but the Denver Nuggets in the final. Yeah. Anybody else other than the Denver Nuggets in the final is best case scenario for the Celtics. But then I say yeah, that, and it's then, like, but if the Clippers make it, that means yeah, the, Clippers the Clippers are doing something so right in these playoffs. That means Everything Kawhi's is clicking. Yes. Boston and Kawhi's six. playing like the best player in the league type level. Boston like, and six. Just saw mm-hmm. uh, Paul George have 30 in what, 28 minutes last night? Against. So, 16 I don't care. 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 I hate when people do that too. I hate when people do that too. Because if he had two, it'd be Trent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate when people do that. Um, do, do y'all disagree with that though? Like, is there is there other teams that they should want to avoid in the finals other than Denver? I mean, the Clippers or the Nuggets for me. I don't think the Clippers are cake. Like you said, in six, I still think that's a seven game series, and I think. Once they get that far, I, I don't know if I want to play Kawhi and Paul George in a seven game series. They just haven't looked good enough for me to feel comfortable in them anymore. Yeah, they've also been battling injuries a little bit around every this time team, of year, is. but like, I think they're gonna get it together. I agree. They've they've they're they are. I understand what KB saying, but then they still have nights where it's like, oh yeah, Paul George Kawhi yeah, can definitely yeah. just <laughs> dominate a game and yeah. make you forget about everything else. Even on a night where James Harden ain't playing, like they can literally just say, hey, we are still one of those duos, and here we are. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, agree. I still feel the Clippers in that aspect. I think that's it, though. I do think you want to avoid the Nuggets. And hey, if you had to choose between the Nuggets and Clippers, you damn right you're going against the yeah. Clippers. So um, I, I, I'll, I'll just highlight that. Just avoiding the clip, uh, the Nuggets. Just avoid the Nuggets because you have no answer for Nikola Jokic. Any I other team even, you face? Is there any team that's like, yeah, we'd rather go against it? I don't no. think no team. Like the Nuggets is a no. team you want to avoid. I, I think when you become the best player in the league, no yeah. team wants to play you. Yeah. Like nobody wanted to play LeBron. The scary thing about Jokic, no. though, is like, yeah, Brian, you're right. Nobody want to face Brian, but Bron, has Bron ever felt like he had the perfect like team? Jokic is the best player, and his team fits like a glove. It I mean, when you had Kyrie and Kevin Love, yeah, it felt like. But he had those the two are game. injury prone. Yeah, but when we and knew, Kevin Love game changed completely. But I think we knew as long as they had them three that they were probably a high favorite because we knew how LeBron flipped that switch in the playoffs, mm-hmm. and then we saw when they went against the Warriors down three one. Him and Kyrie both going out there getting forty plus a night. Like that's just a duo. I think that's his perfect the, the as close of a perfect team he's been on. Well yeah. the Cl- that Lakers is legit. That Lakers per- team that the won Lakers in the team oh, might the be the best yeah, destructive that might be. Oh, yeah. But might be. like Jokic team, this team is just like legitimately When you talk about like the fans, everything got damn near A plus. Literally, like KCP yeah. right oh KCP, Jamal Murray, yeah. we know that's yes. like perfect. KCP, he's probably had one of his like most underrated. Then you seasons. guys in there to get Aaron Gordon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aaron nothing, Gordon, bro. I'd be so surprised how much Aaron Gordon be actually like. They trust we, him with a lot of this offense. We can they have trust a whole him with podcast episode on who is the best fit on that team because you're going to say Jamal Murray, right? Yeah. But then it's also intricacies that Aaron Gordon. Bring Aaron Gordon is right. You, it's one yeah, it's, like, it's, it's so. And then you look at MPJ <laughs> on a night where he had 30 against the Knicks, and it's like boom, there's MPJ. And then KCP is just like, yeah. we can do and a it's whole crazy episode because I always that. feel like Aaron Gordon, like him struggling with his shot, like it's gonna hurt him. The chemistry with him and Jokic in terms of like he know he gonna be at this dunker spot, he know he gonna cut at the right. He's time. an amazing cut. It's just like they use hard to penalize Aaron Gordon for it's, not being able to knock down a shot. Aaron. It's the most unique non-shooting player in basketball because of that connection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like teams are probably be like, don't guard him right there. It won't matter. Yeah. Like normally, if we say don't guard this dude, Tabo Cephalosha can't play in this playoff series, right? 
Um, Andre Reed's going to keep OKC plays. Andre Robinson can't play in his playoff series because <laughs> he's not doing anything but sitting. But when Aaron Gordon is cutting and he's got that type of two-man game with Jokic, even if you don't guard him, he's going to find a way to score regardless. Credit to uh, Mike Malone and that staff, too, which I think has Ryan Saunders on it. It has uh, Papa Adam Jones. And, um, Papa Jones. It's a lot of Sons, what am I saying? I'm, I'm thinking a lot of sons of former coaches on that staff. Now that I'm putting it two to two together, when Aaron Gordon, Jokic has the ball on a wing and a slaughter at the top of the key, and Aaron Gordon is setting that that down screen, almost kind of similar to a split action with the Warriors. He's coming up to get the handoff from Jokic, and Gordon slips. You're now picking your poison. Are we letting Aaron Gordon have this dump in for a dunk or a lob? Um, are we trying to fight over so we can avoid Jamal Murray getting this this uh, this handoff going down to his right? Yeah, you know, like that's why they have one of like underrated. the best, oh. ac- yeah, just underrated mm-hmm. offenses and like best actions. And the best thing is they're like the best player in the world complements their offense. Yeah, you know, so I think that's the thing that like helps them the most. And I know uh, one of my favorite things that with the Jokic and Aaron Gordon connection, I see LeBron and AD do this a lot, but it's like. Jokic gets a rebound, and he just immediately outlets it all the way down court with the early post up because it's yep. like most of the time it's a guard getting back. Aaron Gordon gonna take advantage of that guard, so it's just yeah. like easy. That's Remember that see. game against the, the Heat in the finals where he torched them in that first yes. half. Yep. He got yeah. Kyle Lowry on his yep. back a thousand times. Anytime yeah. he got that size advantage, they looking for him. That's what I was about to say. The most underrated part about the Denver Nuggets is how big they are. Yes, like you're not. <laughs> yeah, okay. You're not gonna have three players that's gonna be like you put the small player on MPJ, he will shoot over him. You put the small player on Aaron Gordon, he He's will ask for that touch. Yeah. You put the small guy on Jokic, it's Jokic. You know, like I there is no out solution. With him saying that what make you a Jokic? Bitch. No, it doesn't exist. <laughs> I think we played against one Jokic bill before. Yeah, he, he played against some Jokic bill. He, he, really nice. he torched us. He made a number fifteen. It looks just like him and torched us. Yeah, don't use two K's template of Jokic because hell awful. no, I hate those. It's templates. awful. Um, okay, so let's shift conferences. OKC is a very interesting team to try to put together yes. their perfect thing. Um, how are y'all feeling about the plan wise? Um, for them, I guess the best case scenario would be them going against the Warriors. Uh, like uh, the uh, other teams can like out physical them, make it, and I I feel like the one thing that the Thunder lack is that physicality. I think the Thunder are in a tough situation because both of these teams, and I'm only saying this, and I actually. Um, I guess I owe Mike an apology because I came here and I was rocking with the Warriors, but the Lakers are much more scarier. Um, the The thing about the Warriors, you though, accept they, his apology? They, I do. They I play because I feel a little bit of that pain because I, I mean, you used, to, you used to know my game attack, less Steph Curry. Like these are the like we're going towards <laughs> the end of the days of like the the golden age of the world. Like this is the the last couple of chapters. Like they, it's sad watching them. Here, here it is. Mm-hmm. The perfect situation. Yeah. The perfect situation is. The Rockets continue to streak. Wow. They oh. take the Warriors spot. Then they win they the beat the play. win. <laughs> they beat the Lakers in the play in and they play the Thunder in the first round. Yeah. That's the best thing. It ain't yeah. it ain't unrealistic because the, 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 the Rockets are yeah. streaking. That means they would have to beat the Suns or the Kings also. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. They'd have to win two. They have to get in yep. and then win two more games. Which, if they plan the way they plan right now, and Daddy Muscles is, 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 is flexing, <laughs> it ain't that far. Jock Landale had 12, 15 and 12 and 5 the other night. Yes, there, it's you know he was having Bulls, a good right? Yes, because you know he was having a good game. I'm watching, like, what the? <laughs> you know he was having a good game because Kyron in the Discord, like, man, that white boy going crazy. <laughs> you don't even know who it is, but he's like, he been giving the Bulls problems. Uh, yeah, so, so they put some in that Gator. Over there. Right now, according to playoffstatus.com, the Rockets have a 15% chance of taking that 10th seed from the Warriors. Mm. 15%. Do they play again? Against each other. Let's see. Yeah, you, you check that it one. Probably I'm mean sure. the Warriors got some easy, easy opponents coming yes, up. Yes, they do. They play on April 4th. That's a big game. That's that's a that could be the, the swing factor, right? It there. could be. Could be. That's what I'm that's what I'm putting out there though. The the perfect situation for the Thunder is to play the Rockets in the first round. Um, Ooh, that the, would be the perfect. Rockets got the Jazz um, tomorrow, tonight. They got the Trailblazers. I mean, they might. And then they got the, th- now, the Thunder. Is Anthony tough, Simons though. playing in a game? These two games where he's. He started and then just ended up getting yeah. pulled. Uh, then they got the Jazz again. And then they end pretty tough. It's Mavericks, T Wolves, Warriors, Heat, Mavericks, Magic, Jazz, Blazers, Clippers to end the season. It's a tough stretch. But yeah. you know the thing is? Depending on that stretch. 
things are close right now, but if there's any start to be any separation, you might have some teams where you're, they, they, their hands are folded. Yeah, last game of the season, Clippers might not play. Exactly. Yeah, they yeah. might have enough exactly. room. Yeah. It's interesting stuff, man. That's why we let this game. Because the 11th seed in the Eastern Conference got a 3% chance of taking that spot. <laughs> Which is the Nets. Yeah, the Nets. 3% chance. New well, Rocket Nets. Jalen Green. Jalen Green. And I've been on my grind. Give up. He don't even know what song that is. That's your song. What song? I don't remember. I don't know the names of the <laughs> That's song. one of the top songs. <laughs> that was off the first album. <laughs> That's uh, one of the top songs. Who are you Drake? What is the name of that song, though? That was Section. Is that really? Is that Section? I, I thought so. that was a song that didn't have me on it. No, that I think that's Section. Oh, okay. Would you say uh, New Watch, that's prime time? No, wait. New, new Flight, that's hang time? Uh Something like that, but no, that's not that first project. Because I remember Terrence always to be saying, like, I'm a one-hit wonder. Because, you know, he always be, he be driving in the morning. He be always Snapchatting what he listening yeah. to. It used to be that song. That is, well, I wonder what was going on in your brain. Because that's <laughs> actually some shit that I, I probably heard when you was recording it and was like, okay. But it ended up being my favorite. New Rocky, that's Jalen Green. Green. He love a <laughs> name drop of a player. <laughs> he said, uh, New York, I'm feeling like sauce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know who that is. You said New York, I'm feeling like Sosa? Sauce. <laughs> who? Sauce. Sauce? No. Sauce Gardner, baby. Oh. You know who that is? No. Okay. <laughs> um, I love asking D-Mill, do he know somebody? <laughs> At least he don't lie. <laughs> well, sometimes he do. About who he know. <laughs> but I think he don't be lying. I don't think he be lying. I think he generally think it's just somebody else. No, true. Yeah, he's no, not no, lying. No. I think he's he just... lying when he said that it, he got jumped for no reason. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and you crazy as hell for retweeting it. I thought you wanted me to. <laughs> well, yeah, you put I it went back to it. They had like a thousand likes. Whenever <laughs> you put something, it got a thousand likes. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever yeah. you put something in a group chat, I feel like that means, hey, unless it got some crazy. You know what I mean? I feel like that's. that's <laughs> I don't know how two people found it in the first place. I'm telling first? you, they search our tweets constantly. They pull up old stuff for yeah. me, and I'll be like, what made you even type this in? That's what I was thinking. I was like, what made you That's why I'm glad we don't up? have anything outrageous, because they would, but like, yeah, they have old stuff of me just random. Like, I'm like, bro, what are, what are you getting this from? I, I've, I've said, I'm me talking crazy to flex or something. It's like, <laughs> man, your head big. Oh, you always was flaming people. Like, what the hell made you type in big head <laughs> in my name? <laughs> but, um... So the I, second round. Oh, would, okay. Yeah. No, no, what? I was just going to talk about uh, Oakland won their game, dude hit 10 threes. You saw the dude People search. went on to Twitter <laughs> to see if he searched the info. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, he's clean. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Yeah, they be doing that, that with so people crazy. that be coming viral on TikTok. Yes, yes. yes. That is some people, that's the first thing they want to do is figure out, have you ever did or said anything controversial in your life? So uh, my content creators or anybody that's trying to go viral or do anything, Right now, you should scrub. You, you scrub your social. You know what I did? I created a whole. I have a whole new Twitter account. Yeah, oh, yeah, I don't do. know what's on the old Twitter. I was thirteen. It yeah. might have some crazy stuff on it, but you'll never find it because I made a whole new one. For sure, I've never in my one. life had anything racial. Yeah, no. But I've definitely. I had. I had old Twitter uh, accounts and stuff. I definitely used I'm to say. Sure I follow your. It account was account just too. a different time. I do too. Yeah, it was a different time. Though, so they can't see it. Yeah, yeah, it was a different time when you can say anything. You can say anything. That's yeah. why sometimes that, that happens. And we grew up in the odd future era. Yes. yes. Where like not only <laughs> yeah, was it okay yeah. to say, it was it was promoted to say it. <laughs> yeah. You should have been saying wild Tyler things. the creator could not survive in this era. Uh, well, he I is mean, survived. Well, no, no, now. But if he I, just did a collaboration I, with LV. Beautiful. It's also those people, Earth, they don't have a past, but I feel like they yeah, just yeah. been like, the same shit with Dave Chappelle. Like it's, They've been doing it for so long. This is like you understand what comes with that territory. That's like why South was, Park or something like that's that. That's why when certain you know? people yeah. resurface in his old tweets, mm. I don't get as riled up because I am understanding that back then was a different time. That's why I said, as, now if you're saying something wild, like some SA stuff or some um, racial stuff, there is never There's a no time room that for was that, ever. No, yeah. Yeah. Everybody, that's but there were certain in, jokes and certain things you could say yeah, that everybody was socially has a, I'll accepted. be saying the same thing with like the uh, the deep fried, not the deep fried picture, but like the little old <laughs> filter, thing. filter yeah, pictures yeah. in the mirror. Like 
Everybody got those. So yeah. when they bring up an NBA player with hit, like the Paul George one, it's like, I seen a million of those. That's like, I know. Yeah, yeah. For sure. But yeah, they always try to resurface something. I'll be like, I, that don't make me mad. Yeah. That was 2009. Everybody was talking like that. Yeah. Now, if they said that in today's world where new people are being educated on different things to be a little bit more sensitive on topics, then I think you can put some people under the fire. But don't don't dig up nothing somebody said in 2007 when <laughs> your, pay, your dad was My saying the same tweet. thing. Get, right. Your fat. You guys. Your first tweet getting you in trouble. <laughs> your fat. You got family members that was participating in the same Twitter. Yeah. Uh, second round though. OKC Thunder. Second round. So the crop of guys we teams we're picking from is the Clippers, the Pelicans. I guess that's kind of it. It's a two game difference between the Pelicans and the Mavericks. I yeah. guess that's still possible, maybe unlikely. So between those two teams, you want to avoid the Clippers. You think you want to avoid the Clippers, especially yeah. with this new Brandon Ingram situation? I think you want the Pelicans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. think that's pretty easy on consensus, right? You also agree? Mm-hmm. Okay. Check gonna be in for a long day though. Zion gonna for be attacking real. him. Yeah, yeah, he definitely. gonna try to go. I see he gonna him. try to go literally through him. I yeah. saw Paulo he go through low. Chess. 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 college. Chet's first like taste of the NBA was him guarding LeBron um that run and that run and then he ended up messing up his foot and without <laughs> for the season. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine, Seattle. Getting, Seattle, yeah, yeah. Imagine getting your welcome to the league moment in the Drew League. That and wasn't the, a Drew League though. Don't disrespect Seattle. That was a crossover, I think, Jamal Crawford. Oh. Uh, Come on now. Seattle. I thought it was a Drew League. My Drew bad. League ain't in Seattle, baby. Come on. My bad. It's LA. <laughs> Comp ten. Invite us. We wanna go. Then we get oh no, we got invited to the Isaiah Thomas one. Yeah. Um yeah. So for the conference finals, best case scenario, we have uh, teams like the Timberwolves, we have Denver Nuggets, or is it one of the other playing teams somehow making it all the, all the way there? I uh, think there's two. The fantasy. Dallas Mavericks are also yeah, a team. I think, I think the lowest we can go is the Dallas Mavericks, but I mm-hmm. think one of the playing teams making it all the way to the conference finals is a two two bit of a fantasy pool. Yeah. Um, I think you Let's have. Just we already had the Rockets and make it in there. <laughs> I think you have to go probably the Timberwolves. Well, you said what was the team's name? Uh, you said Timberwolves, uh, Mavericks. Tim- Timberwolves, I mean, we could Denver, go Mavericks. definitely Mavericks. They're the lowest seed, but Timberwolves. Uh, depending How on confident what's are y'all on the cat? Timberwolves in like the playoffs in terms of this year? Are we I mean, saying the cat is there? Yeah. Sure. Let's say cat is there for the yeah. sake of. Man, the Mavericks are tough, bro. Whenever I think about a team going against Luka, it's always. It's I think, look. yeah. The Mavericks just don't got not one guy that you just say, go guard him. <laughs> yeah, facts. You know yeah. how a team may not be good defensively, yeah, but they still they got defender. a guy. Well, I guess during Finnish, it might be used to be Reggie Bullock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they used to be the defender. <laughs> didn't Spencer, didn't we just take a yeah, shot at just, Reggie Bullock? Yes. I, can y'all explain to I me? Didn't, I, I didn't understand. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't I thought Were you talking to Riddles? <laughs> <laughs> Talk, look at him stressed out. <laughs> We're talking in riddles. I could not for the life Every of me. Every time they put a mic in front of him, you remember the uh, the Lakers are like your father and the, the <laughs> Dallas Mavericks are like your mom. Like, what are you talking about, Spencer? <laughs> what the hell? And you know what else? You never send me my damn shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm real, so we really didn't understand the shit you're talking about. The cryptocurrency <laughs> wars. <laughs> uh, I think best case scenario for them. And cut your damn hair. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like my grandma. <laughs> Making too much damn money. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, he had it up, braided up last night. He did, night. but his, his face was so scruffy. But, you know, uh, yeah. sometimes you got to have that they wolf. said They said at one point that he was boycotting, and that's why he didn't get a lineup. Ain't yeah. no reason to boycott now. For real. You in L.A. He missed that He missed that three on the wing, though. That was a big three late in the game. Got to make those, Spencer. He been high. Got to make those. That was a big one. But anyway. Championship wise, D'Angelo Russell double dribble. Who, who did we agree that they had to play? Dallas. Oh, because yeah. Dallas is tough. I mean, I, all of them are going to be tough at this point. So maybe w- Dallas. Would you rather go option. Dallas or Minnesota? I'd Minnesota rather play against. With, da- I'd, play, I'd rather play against Dallas. Oh yeah, I would rather play against Dallas, but it's, it's not like a clear cut. We're, we're, we're talking about it. OKC specifically, yeah. not just agreeing. I think OKC. We're rather play against mm-hmm. Dallas. Yeah, OKC. Yeah, especially because they don't have two bigs. This going to be hard for them to match up with that two big lineup. They gonna really tough. crash the glass. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, a part of me is leaning towards playing the Timberwolves because even if Cat come back, he's not gonna be a hundred percent. I just keep thinking about them. They gonna do the thing where they're just like, let's just put Rudy on Josh. Josh Giddy probably might. He's not probably getting ex- extended been, minutes that game. He's been better recently. Yeah, we can we can go. Um, we can go Dallas. Dallas and just don't have no me, def- new defensive yeah, personnel. Yeah, even for me though. 
in that situation, let's say you put in Gordon Hayward, I'm yeah. still. I was gonna say they have Rudy's options to put else. I'm gonna put Rudy on him. Have y'all watched Gordon Hayward a lot recently? Yeah, he's no. not. He not yeah, looking he's not no, I wouldn't expect that right now yet. But like that's why I'm saying I would still put Rudy on him. Let him roam. Oh, I see what you mean. Like yeah, it don't yeah. matter. But if it's Isaiah Joe, you gotta now do it. Like, you gotta okay, make yeah. a definite now, decision yeah. at that point. Okay, NBA championship. Instead of saying what's the best scenario, what's the worst scenario for them? If like the Celtics. OKC go, it is the Celtics. Yeah. Is the Celtics is gonna be the worst no, scenario? No, the Bucks. I think the Bucks too. They don't have. Giannis is gonna average forty that series. Shea might too. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I, I forgot about the flip side. But yeah, they do have to guard. How Shea. do y'all think Damian Lillard would do against the Thunder? I think that's the. Every time I'm thinking about the Bucks, I'm looking at that. Because I yeah, think Giannis you know what is going to get from Giannis. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm, Thunder is like they might not be like the tallest team, but they got a lot of physical dudes over there. So I think about that's going to be a lot of like they're going to not beat up on Damian Lillard, but they're going to definitely make it tough as hell for him. Lou Dort probably get that. As well. Lou oh, Dort, sure. yeah. Lou Dort, you mumping into a fire hydrant every time. And sometimes they ain't do struggle with those like big physical defenders like Lou yeah. Dort, but I. I still think he'll be okay. I still yeah. think he's giving you twenty. That's your name. We know you think he's gonna be okay, and there ain't no problem with that. Oh, give me some skin. Uh, uh. What, what, the, what happened to the dab? Oh, y'all for y'all what did you do the dab. Oh, my fault, my fault. Let me stop spilling y'all. That beans. video ain't out yet. Oh, yeah. it's very true. Uh, we yeah. have been filming other videos. You gotta you gotta wait till the video come out. Then they'll know how we asked. Spoiler something. alert! Right? Yeah. The Bucks. We'll probably, we'll we'll probably debut that on our show. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> he said, what about the Bucks? <laughs> now let's figure out their perfect scenario. They uh, would have to play the Pacers in the first round. My boy, yep. You think that's their best case scenario other than going against some of the other playing teams? I mean, I the Pacers are at three. I mean, at six. Not, fir- not firmly. Like, if I'm not them, firmly at all. I don't want, I don't want to play the Heat. And I don't want to play a Sixers. If I have that, but I, it would have to probably be the Bulls. I feel as well. so good about them going against the Sixers, even if Joel Beat is there. Out of those three, though, mm-hmm. I feel good with that too. But out of those three, I would much, much, much rather play the Pacers. Yeah, yeah, I would too. Honestly, yeah. I think, and I think there's a gap. I would much rather, like, I would really much rather play the Pacers. I see We're talking about saying. they don't guard shit. I was gonna say that's <laughs> yeah. a perfect series for Damian Lillard to try get to get going. it going. Yes, yeah, they don't guard a damn thing. Malik Beasley shoot all day. Let, let's get your rhythm going. Hell, Chris Middleton. Oh, I got yeah. you. Got your swagger back. Yeah, best case scenario is Chris Middleton's healthy. I think that's the first thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. if if he's healthy, I feel really good about this team. Uh, but I see, I definitely see what y'all are saying. And I would say, I think the, the Pacers have played them really well this season. But sometimes somehow, that shit like, don't matter. the Hawks that was made it out of the play in. The of the season, but the Hawks are just they playing so bad. I can't see them winning two games. Yes. That's way too fan. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say they just playing yeah, too bad. Jalen Johnson just got banged up too. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it's a cakewalk. I mean, I would pick the Bucks in that hypothetical series for I guess sure. The Pacers, yes, but I think the Pacers have been looking a lot better. I think recently. that's a five game series. Five? I think that's a five game series at yeah. most. I, I, think think I really think it's a four game yeah. series. I think the Pacers may still win. Like cool they're not, they're not as bad defensively as they were before the trade deadline. I think mm-hmm. they will be bad in that series. Giannis Antetokounmpo yeah. is going, he going to tear a hole in them boys. Especially since they took his ball, KB. You got to remember that they took Didn't his they, ball, but they bust his ass after that. They played again two nights but later, and they is, bust his ass. This is where you get your revenge. Okay, don't this get the revenge immediately while I still on mine. You wait four months later. To get <laughs> That's your also revenge. when Tyrese Halliburton was playing a lot differently. Yeah, he my was. brother, he got, he got his swag back. Yesterday he was in his bag. He like, got his swag. Back. He was. He made it. He was making a three. He hit some shots. He looked. At the, he looked at his teammate. Said, "I'm yeah. back. I'm back." I, he definitely was playing with a little bit more swagger that game. His move. Not, I'm not even just thinking about how he's how they're falling. The last three or so games, he's moving better than what he was two weeks ago. That's what I'm looking at, really. Keep it up, then. The, the shots are going to come, and they're going to fall I'm not even saying it no slight. That's the homie. <laughs> yeah. That's the homie. I'm not even saying it yeah. no slight. Mike laughing like I'm I trying just, to I don't sneak this one. Because he's think... like, keep it up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said keep it up, then. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, early in the season, they were the number one offense and, like, bottom three defensively. Yeah. Like, they were the best offense of all time at one point, right? Uh, the offense has teetered down a little bit. Some of that's the Buddy Hill being gone. Some of that – a lot of that is Tyrese Halliburton not playing to his level. The defense has been really solid recently, like for like a month now. Yeah. And that's that month. Shout out to Aaron Eastman. Aaron Eastman, yes. That, that month Aaron is Eastman. basically the trade deadline. That's when they solidify what their team is. Now, again, I'm taking the Bucks in that series, but I don't look at them and say, like, they giving up 160 a night in the playoff series no more. Like, that's not – I think they've evolved in season 
So that's not their identity anymore. Oh, even if uh, yeah, uh, even if they're not giving up 160, I just think that the Bucks are a way better team. And I think when it comes to playoff basketball, they will punch them in their mouth so hard in those first two games that this is a very short series. You don't have Benedict Mathur coming off that bench either. Not saying that he was end all be all, but you don't have Buddy Hield. Yeah, you're a little bit better defensively, but you're not you're not the, as good defensively where we're scared now. Yeah, and I, was, I still I don't was, think y'all got no answer my for thing Dane. is just how big is that jump? Is that going to be like the determining factor? And I'm just you said you still had the bucks in it, but it's just like it ain't nothing for me to believe in, at least not yet. What would it take? What full would season take? with it, and I think it, for the for the belief factor of their defense of the, pace, of the Pacers' defense. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, full definitely a full season. Yeah, for sure. It's got to be some of that. Like I said, they do have some def- like Aaron Neesmith, Pascal is obviously a better. Yeah, they have some defenders, but I, I don't know. I feel like sometimes the eye test is like they got a lot of players that be getting cooked. And it's like it's going to happen, but y'all could definitely do better. What do y'all think since the deadline? What do y'all think they're ranked defensively? They were like, 10th. You looked this up recently? Yes. Since the deadline? Those I exact was, parameters? I think, no, I think I looked last week and it was within the last two weeks. They were like top 10. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Um, I don't know why it's not where I'm, I actually don't know the answer. I'm I'm trying yeah. to look it up myself. I know recently they were top ten within the last two weeks. I don't know if it's still that way. Um, See, I don't know. I, if I had to just guess, because I, I mean I haven't looked at the the defensive at least their defensive ratings, I would have probably thought like eighteen. I don't know. What's ha- it's not it's not working right now. To get wipe out tweaking for you? No, it's actually cleaning the glass. Is not working. Oh, it's not letting me change like the date. Like I can see the full season. But I can't say since the deadline, so and so. I'm gonna try. Was y'all time. NBA league pass tweaking yesterday? Uh, no. no, my stuff was like I I had to watch one of the games. I also on my watched phone. on TV. It was not loading up right, or like the player can was we just also, not can loading. We, can, can we can we also talk about some of the teams that they've played in that stretch? Go ahead, give it to me. The Pistons, mm-hmm. yeah. the Nets, the Bulls. Is this in order? No, no, no. I'm just oh, like okay. I can give you the order if you want. Though Golden State, Detroit, Cleveland, uh, Brooklyn. Chicago, OKC, Orlando, Minnesota, Dallas, San Antonio, Pelicans, mm-hmm. Pelicans, Raptors. The answer is 15th, by the way. So they're about league okay. average in that time frame. Yeah, the, I'm just seeing a lot of garbage-ass teams. But even then, they were playing garbage teams beforehand, and they were still giving up hella points. They gave up 163 points in regulation to the Atlanta Hawks. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was crazy. And I'm seeing, <laughs> I'm seeing shit where, like, not that long ago, they just they played Phoenix and gave up 131 points. Yeah. Boston 129, Sacramento 133. They they're better, but is it like all the way where and that's just they, not? The way they play though. I mean, if you, I, I think in my mind, if you jump 15 spots in any category, that's significantly yeah. better. And I was gonna say the for, way they play for a whole for a whole year, yeah, a two week stretch is a way no, different no, no. thing. You can yeah. have a two week stretch. The deadline is a and month and a half go. ago. What you mean? The deadline's a month and a half. Oh, ago. it's from the deadline. From the deadline. Yeah, that. But to me, that's still not. That's just not enough for me personally. Mm-hmm. So I. I see what you're saying, but I also like our our whole being of what we're doing is like, like the Dallas Mavericks, right? We look at them how they've looked since the deadline because they make significant changes. That's like my mind frame. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I don't. But the Pacers, to me, the the Mavericks are a whole different team than the Pacers, though. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the Mavericks as a team with Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. I don't look at the Pacers like that. No, no, no. Not I don't mean in that sense. I mean like when we look at. The improvements they have made since the deadline, we look from the deadline. You know what I'm saying? We're not looking before the deadline. Oh, I'm looking at. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm looking I don't at specifically the, the Mavericks. I just oh, use no, them but as an I'm example. always looking at the collection of of everything that's going on. That's yeah. why it's like a full a full slate of a season. I'm not. I've never been a guy that's like, oh my gosh, look, last six games, he's who. Unless it's literally the Rockets who are streaking. They're literally streaking right now. Seven game win streak. You have to look at that. Mm-hmm. But like, I've never been a dude that's super, super driven or super trying to sell you that. Hey, in the last five games, uh, Josh Hart averaging a triple double. I'm just not. That's just not me. You know what I mean? Personally, that's but if, fair that, enough. if anybody that else want to take that and run with it, cool. I think he was just saying that like. There's been steps to, to improve the pace. Of I, never, no, I, no, I never, I never argued that. Yeah. I've never argued that. I'm just saying I still you think can't the Bucks. You can rely on that in a playoff series. It's not enough yeah. that moves me against the Bucks. <laughs> yeah, no. The Bucks are going to win that convincingly for me, and yeah. which is the whole point we was making. Yeah, that's the whole. I think it, the Pacers. Is it, no, I still think it's a five game series. They just. What are you Bucks about? Pacers. Bucks Pacers. They no, uh, probably five. That's, Bucks, that's all I'm saying. Bucks and six. 
Bucks and the six. way the Pacers play, and I feel a little bit with the Hawks too, and there ain't no excuse for it, but like you're going to give up points when you have so many possessions in a game. It's just kind of like natural that that happens. Also, we, this series probably not happening either way because the Bucks are the two seed and the Pacers are the six seed. Right now. Right now. You never know. But the right Heat now. don't look good. The 76ers don't look good. <laughs> so I, I feel pretty good about the yeah, Pacers. Might stick at six. The Heat crazy, And then they had to play Cavs. Can we, let's, let's stick yeah. to the Bucks. Let's stick to the Bucks. <laughs> so, okay. So, hypothetically, best case scenario for them, um, let's say Pacers. Yep. Second round, how are we feeling about the Bucks? It would probably be. It would probably have to be Orlando, right? No. They would. No, because Orlando's spot at four or five, right? Oh, yeah. yeah this yeah. is three, six. This is three, six. So, in your hypothetical, Derek, where the Pacers fail, which I don't disagree, then they that would mean the Heat or the 76ers moved right. up to play the Cavaliers at three or six. So, you're. You're you're facing in that second round the Cavs or the Heat, the Cavs or the Sixers. Yeah, it's one of those three teams. I think the best case scenario is probably the Heat. Yeah, that kind of make it out to. It's so tough for me. I know because I, I really don't want to say you don't want to go against them either. But at the same time, they but the reason not, it's tough is kind of past that. To me, it's tough because it's kind of a contradiction. Not yeah. not that I'm saying for all of us, by the way, just in, in this exercise. Because if you're playing the Heat in the second round, they got that means the Heat has gotten hot. They're yeah. doing something right, and yeah. they're figuring something out. <laughs> so that's my main thing. Like, the first series, the Pacers dropped. That the re- means they probably lost some games. The reality that is they're probably going to get some heat in that first round regardless. I mean, oh, so yeah. that's we, just the way it's played we right do, now. Should we look at it versus how it is right now instead of trying to project if a team go up or down? Yeah. Because... Now we're in a situation I see where we're mismatching. Mean. Yeah, cool let's, let's do it that way. So they play the Heat yeah. in the first round. So, no, I think their best case scenario is that they play against the 76ers first round, not the Heat. Mm-hmm. The 76ers are the team that they would rather go against yes. the Heat. Okay. And then or they Chicago. Them. We said somewhat fantasy. realism. Two fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> somewhat realism. Right. So, um, I mean, the Rockets is fantasy too, but at least they're on a seven-game win streak. Yeah. Um, so they beat the 76ers. I don't know. It's just a trade that line, the Bulls. Hey, y'all 6-40. and 40, Since like the trade that <laughs> line. wearing that double big line up. <laughs> and the Bulls didn't even do nothing. Has, that hashtag line. since the trade that line. <laughs> um, <laughs> they they are, they're playing after the first month. The Bulls are playing at a 47-win pace. You see how this shit... They figured out <laughs> stats to convince me. I was thinking that, that shit don't on the mean way this nothing. morning. I was thinking, like, it's somebody's I, job that just sits on a stat hey, site all day. Hey, I looked that up. That was my job. <laughs> all they do is just put down the filters and wait till they get to, like, it's two or three people. And it's yes. like, he's the only player. He's the only player. That's uh, they so had fun. Big, they had 30 points, 15 boards, uh, 15 boards five him, blocks. Him and Daryl Dawkins are the only two. That's, 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 that's all day. <laughs> that shit be driving me crazy. That's, Every day so it's a fun, new stat. Now, I would say, I would say go, go into Stathead. Well, I guess you got to pay for Stathead. And find he a random money. Play- it's well, cheap but, but it's Mike. Do you pay? For, is there any basketball? Would you rather have a new posh? The athletic, or <laughs> <laughs> the athletic is like one dollar a month. <laughs> yeah, you got but maybe having is the sales there any, th- Do you like? Do you pay for basketball <laughs> index? Do you pay for cleaning the glass? Do you pay for no? Cleaning the glass probably do probably still charge me, but I don't go on there like that. Okay, I did have cleaning the glass. Okay, I probably still one do. thing I would say, and I actually gonna make a video about this this week, is you find a random player. Could be just random. Give me a random player. Jay uh, Crowder. Jay Crowder. Mm-hmm. Try to find the most obscure list that make Jay Crowder look dope. Mm-hmm. Have him in the company of Michael Jordan only. They have the ones with so <laughs> <fun> <laughs> to me, bro. The ones with TJ Warren. That sounds like a waste of TJ time. TJ Warren got <laughs> a for, for content, that. it's not though. For content, it's not a waste of time. Everything is a waste of time if you, it, unless you have fun doing it. If that's what you like doing, uh, now it's that, not a waste of now time. Now that I, have, I cannot argue with you at all. Can you imagine how content, fun it is? Because KB, I'm not. I'll watch any of your videos. I'm not watching one where you're trying to compare Crowder to Jordan. I'm not watching. It's it. gonna be fun. No? <laughs> I'm not watching it. You know what I'm saying? Like it'll be more fun than those damn 2K if, videos. If I watched it, no, I'm watching the Brooklyn Nets series before I watch that video. Rest in peace. The only if I watch it, I'm biased. I'm only <laughs> watching it because it's you. But I'm trying to take the fact that it's you, and I'm just saying somebody made that shit. I'm going right past it. You if, don't want that. He's young in a combination if, of Michael Jordan, Larry Bird. I don't want to say Chandler. no names, but I got a name. <laughs> if he made that video, I'm clowning his ass. But I ain't gonna mm. say no names. But um, Who could that be? It's somebody random. It ain't even. Oh, it okay. ain't even no beef or nothing. It's just oh, somebody okay. random. Um, 
I forgot where I was going. But the, the one, the stats I was just talking about, I would prefer. I'm more understanding of that than those when they're forcing it. But when it, when it, when a Wizards fan is saying the last ten games for Bilal Kolabali is this, I am understanding of that. Yep. You know what I'm saying? For what sure. What about the last ten games of Ayo Dasuma? Oh my gosh, oh, the last sorry. game specifically. Yeah. He set his career high three times in two, in a row, two yeah. weeks. What was that? 34? 32? Yeah. yeah. I they lost his bag, game. man. Yeah. Anyway, and you know, anyway, you know what's sports, hilarious sports. about that, though? What? You didn't even want to bring him back. No, I didn't. <laughs> it's not, no, it's not that I'd never want to bring no, him back. No, not you. I'm oh. talking about the Bulls. The Bulls barely brought him back. Yeah. That took forever to get done, right? Yeah, yeah. he was on the last Oh, no, the Kobe the White one happened instantly. The Ayo DeSumo yeah. yeah. waited to, like, yeah. Yeah. Hey, that's our backcourt of the future, hey, baby. got him, man. 43 wins next year. The best second round scenario, still on the Milwaukee Bucks, is now the Pacers. Is now the Pacers. Yes. Yes. Conference finals. It's pretty much anybody. That means the Pacers beat the Cavs. That's crazy. That would be funny. That would be crazy as hell. Donovan Mitchell was hurt. That's what we were. Donovan <laughs> Mitchell and Evan Moley was hurt. Or the lights were still too bright. Oh, oh man. Oh, 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 I hope that's not the case this year. Check this out. Either. Check this out, Mike. <laughs> the lights were still too bright. They locked them up. It's <laughs> <laughs> possible, baby. They couldn't score over 100 points the entire series. That would be crazy. <laughs> Um, conference finals is anybody but Boston, right? Can we agree on that? Anyone yeah. but him <laughs> in the NBA final? I think every Eastern Conference NBA just, finals is anybody but Denver. <laughs> yes, yes. You just gotta hope the Clippers somehow pull through. Yeah, or in, Which anybody. Which is crazy because that's such a bad number. Dude, want to go against too? I guess so. like they still so damn good. I think a lot of these we stay on the West side because, like, do we need the perfect scenario for the Cavs? Like, no. do we believe that they need? Like, they would need literally the perfect scenario to yes. make it happen. And they would need injuries. Like, they would need a lot. So let's go Denver Nuggets. Perfect scenario for them in the plane. Random generized. <laughs> it don't matter. Randomly <laughs> generated. Randomized the generator for them. But yeah, in the first round, I guess their perfect scenario would be them playing. Sack. Or Dallas. Dallas we're leaving it how it is. There mm. we just, oh, yeah, yeah. We did say we're leaving it how it is. I would definitely. I don't want to play Kevin Durant, Devin Booker in the first round. That's why I was the only team that, not mm. that they're afraid of them. But the only team I feel like can take multiple, multiple games is Phoenix because they did it last year. You know, just because they have the star power to win a couple games. Kevin can do that. Grayson Allen that. got the nerve to be knocking down yeah. shots. Too. Yeah. Like, I feel really good about them. I mean, Kevin Hurt is out for the rest of the season. Uh, so I feel good, really good about them versus the Kings. They, the Lakers can't sniff them. And then the Warriors are going to get dominated by Yoke anyway. <laughs> so their best case scenario is anybody outside of Phoenix. But even if it is Phoenix, they're fine. Yeah. You know, like it, doesn't, it wouldn't it's matter. It's probably a six game series. Yeah. That at at most. Uh, second round, best case scenario. That's Minnesota or Dallas, really. Dallas. Dallas. Is it Dallas? Yeah. It is. I Derek can't Gli- argue with that. Derek Lively and J- Daniel Gafford. It's, it's I mean, you got 12 fouls to eat up right there, though. Yeah. Maxi Kleep is in the rotation, too. More right. fouls. 18 fouls. <laughs> <laughs> you just gonna, how many is he going to take? Yeah. Because uh, Rudy Gobert, Cat, Nas Reed, you know, that's a deep. <sighs> I think that's the worst case scenario for them. Yeah, that's a deep. If there's right any there. team that match up very well against Denver, it's that team. Yeah, for sure, because they got the actually good bigs. Mm-hmm. But anything other than that, like P said, random number generated that uh, shit. Unless, you know, Dwight Powell is still a prom. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> he didn't even have to say I'm joking. Yeah, I, I, I swear we, we knew you were, but maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't. That boy Dwight Powell on the sideline clapping. He signed basically for a minimum the first second he could. We should have known. Yeah. <laughs> also, we did a TikTok talking about longest tenure players, right? Yep. He's on there. He's on there. But everybody else on there was one team, guys. Dwight Powell's not a one team guy. Do y'all remember when Dwight Powell played the first six games of his NBA career? No. Dwight Powell played I feel for like Detroit. Nah, it wasn't Detroit. Mm-hmm. I think it was a Western Conference team. It was East. It was? Mm-hmm. It wasn't the Chicago Bulls. No. Oh, how about to say? The Hornets? Know. Nope. I don't know. He was a Celtic. Oh, he zero, was a fucking Celtic. Zero memory of it. Sorry for my language. He was a Celtic. Zero memory. I can't but remember. He was remember. A, a common section Celtic. He got drafted. Because I was a big, this is going to sound crazy, <laughs> it's a big Dwight, Dwight Powell fan at Stanford. <laughs> Pac-12, Pac-12. It was Pac-10, but Pac-12. Um, he was he was good. He was good at Stanford, um, and it was coming off of Clay Thompson being at Washington State. So I'm like, man, I yeah. I got something here at, in the Pac-10. That's that's I got some draft because I called the Clay Thompson shit, and all my homies like, man, when you how you find out about this dude? And like the Pac the Pac-10 got something for me. They got something <laughs> for me. So I stayed glued there with UCLA and and, and Arizona. 
and USC, but then they had Washington State, Washington. That's how I was high on um, DeJounte when he was coming out of college, and they had Marquise Chris, Terrence Ross. Like, the Pac-10 was feeding me a lot of draft prospects, so Dwight Powell was one that I caught on to, and I'm like, man, I really like this dude game, and I thought he was actually going to come out a lot earlier. It took him, like, four years, which is when I should have known that he was just going to be, you know, like a rotational if that, but yeah, he did go to the Celtics. The Celtics had a bunch of draft picks that year, if I'm not mistaken, and it's like uh, they they brought in like three or four guys in that draft. But um, who, what team we on? The Mavericks. We done with the Denver Nuggets. That okay. was so easy. To, cool. <laughs> Next thing, let's do Minnesota Timberwolves. Well, we didn't do their dream scenario for their to go against in the the East. finals. Hey, throw anybody out of them. Maybe the Celtics. You want to avoid the Heat again. <laughs> And they'll be fine. No, pick, they'll be fine. Keep picking on the heat. That's it what don't matter who they get. Yeah. <laughs> keep, keep picking on the heat. Uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. Best case scenario for them. Right now, it's like Dallas is s- slotted in there. But yep. like, I'm, would you rather go against like the Pelicans somehow? If they, I think they match up very well against Dallas. They have the wing defenders to, to yeah. not slow Luca down or stop Luca, but make it tougher. You got the defenders and you got the rim protection. Yes. So. I think their best con- scenario is staying what it is now, and it's Dallas. But Dallas has more experience mm-hmm. with Kyrie and uh, and Luca, who both made or well, Kyrie NBA champion and Kyrie, I mean, then Luca conference finalists. But I still feel pretty good yeah. in that series for them. This is crazy to history. Don't forget like, the Luke. experience of PJ Washington. <laughs> Luca is really Wait, what? Yeah, never <laughs> made the whore, playoffs. Yeah, <laughs> Luca's really done so much at the beginning of his career already that like he's legitimately a guy that you're scared to play in the first round. Yeah. That's because how dangerous, like, I remember when he was first coming in, and no, he don't play exactly like him, but I was like, this feel like LeBron coming, like, the way he just has, like, his the magnitude of how he can win you a game, and it ended up, he can win you a series, and, like, that dude is legit. Yeah. I mean, he had, like, three game winners his rookie season. Yeah. Tough-ass shots, too. It's just mm-hmm. immediately came into the city, and it was electric. The um, Portland Trailblazers once. Oh, yeah, when he got off in, like, 0. 0.5 seconds or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. He was all little and skinny. Yeah. Super skinny. <laughs> Super skinny. Like, damn. That's now he a few beers deep. Hell, facts. <laughs> Hit that hookah a little bit. Uh, what about second round? Uh, for me, so then they would end up playing. So that's OKC. Nope. They would either be Denver, uh, Denver. or a play-in oh. team. Yeah. You know, if you go on your NBA app, it give you a playoff picture. It's got to oh, yeah. The best case scenario I, bro, is somehow I've Denver loses, <laughs> but that's on, just no I've been way. I've been on bro. the conference scene this whole time, and then it, bro, yeah, you've you been just, in the NBA NBA app this whole time, just looking at the standings. Yeah, I have too, <laughs> but I just kind of yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't. I, I'm forgetting how it go. <laughs> uh, clearly, we see, buddy. Yeah. yeah, the best case scenario is somehow the Denver gets playing against the somehow the second round. Phoenix beats Denver. <laughs> right, you just hope that Denver gets gets taken out in the first round. That's best case scenario. But just like he said, if if Phoenix <laughs> take out you. Denver, Thank I'm you. scared of Phoenix right. now. Doing something yeah. right. <laughs> this this contradiction is uh, exercise we do. <laughs> best case scenario for the conference finals is probably OKC for them. He's got more size. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would be thinking about. Like, how well can you protect, especially with Shea, how well you can protect the paint? We old, man. Mark well, N-E-R-D. N-E-R-D fly dies 20 years old today. I remember KB had a little N-E-R-D fade. I did. It was like a couple years ago. Sooner and later, it all comes, comes crashing. crashing. <laughs> nah, y'all don't know about that. All the girls standing in the line at the bathroom. Stop sleeping, man. Any RD? Come on, y'all. You see, he's too young. He too I am young, a little young. That boy. That boy. For me, that was like my introduction to like things outside she of rap. That, she don't like diet coke. She on that coke diet. <laughs> what? Uh, you don't know about that? Yeah. Oh, uh, y'all got to lock in, man. You know he only listens to rap. Derek, I was listening. I was at your stream. You had a lot of R and B, some oldies oh, yeah, playing. Okay. But you need to even go outside of that. Get some alternative in there. And NERD could be your introduction N-E-R-D. to that. Yeah. They be trying Maybe. to put me on to rock music in my stream, and I just be like, no. Hey, bro. It don't have to be in that. I, no. I can't lie. Some of that stuff smacks, though. Some you just have to find some it. Some of that stuff do smack. And not, that's you know, not going to be exclusively your taste, though. The now. songs that be the best ones are the ones that I realized was so cliche. Mm-hmm. The ones that we hear in movies all the time, it's like, they actually saying some <laughs> yeah. uh, what shit. Which one is it? Give me some Paramore. Big Paramore. I'm guy. okay with Paramore. You know okay. what I'm diving sure. into lately? Uh, Bob Marley. Mm. Bob For Marley. Sure. Rest, rest in peace. Rest in peace. I got it. I had to get back into my my roots. 
get into that. His he got a grandson uh, apparently that got a smash hit. Yeah, sample it's one viral on TikTok yeah, right now. Viral on TikTok. Yeah. So. I think uh, I'll be feeding people. Maybe this is the last right, thing we so do, so. unless y'all have a conversation about who else should be considered contenders. Let's do uh, Clippers. Best case scenario for the Clips. Clippers. Right now, Clips. it's the Pelicans. Clips set. Clips set. How y'all feel about that series? I got Clippers in it, but the Pelicans have been like, they've been one they of got the hottest teams. They played on well. Mm-hmm. But, I, I, I'm but I still think I would rather play them than uh, the Phoenix Suns. Well, what the hell is you talking about? Y'all said the Clippers. Who are the Clippers playing in the first round? The Pelicans. I mean, I would much rather play them than Dallas. Derek, the matchup is set in stone, brother. <laughs> but oh, We're yeah, not moving nothing right. around. <laughs> I just feel like it's so close that it could be moved around. I understand but yeah. that, but we made the agreement. At the beginning. That, that we're we not, not moving, moving anything the first around. Round, yeah. Um, so, second round. Oh, I think OKC. I mean, like, yeah, is OKC getting upset? It. I I think they could, honestly. They just have to be. All right, right so this shit, the Lakers. I was gonna say, would you? If it was the Lakers, is then Lakers or OKC? Yeah. So the Lakers not have made it through the play in. Oh boy, they two games. We back at it. That's possible. I mean, Lakers versus OKC is a really good series. I do. Yeah, it is. That's a matchup I honestly wouldn't mind. You take that over Denver or Minnesota. I feel like we could hang with Minnesota too. It's just anything but Denver. Denver just got our yeah, number. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, Anyone for sure. but him? Anyone but that man, man? That main man? I don't know what it is. We played Denver. So they Lakers beat gonna hit the at Pelicans. Least four step back behind the back three. So they beat the Pelicans. <laughs> then they beat the Lakers. <laughs> yeah. And then in the Western Conference Finals, they're playing against the Timberwolves, the Mavericks. Uh, Luca got a thing against them boys. I don't know if they want that. <laughs> You got some allergies acting up? Yeah. Okay. My, um, <laughs> I can hear it. I think best case is probably Mavericks if you OKC. Yeah. No, 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 no. We're doing the Clippers. Yes. Oh, Clippers. yeah, yeah, We were just like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I would still probably pick. <laughs> this one you can tell the episode is winding down. <laughs> this is the last team, unless y'all got conversations about any other contenders. Let's grind through this last team, fellas. Let's lie. <laughs> <laughs> the the West the Conference Finals, who would you want well, to see the Clippers play? Honestly, I mean the Mavericks, it would Timberwolves. The Mavericks. I would love to see that Mavericks or the, the Suns catch fire, but again, they catch the fire. I think the Clippers. If the Suns caught fire, I think they could do a pretty good job with the Suns because oh, they no. did like they have the wing, literal wings that can match up with them a little bit. I just think that the Dallas Mavericks. They, I, I think the Clippers are a very deep team, so I would much rather play. I honestly would want to see that. The I Clippers know deep. You said yeah, they're deep. Uh, yeah, I guess if, for playoff standards, they are. You're right. You're they, right. Yeah, they didn't go a cool seven, eight. Yeah. And now Russell Westbrook's coming back. So, yep. like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they could probably. Yeah, they could probably get to a good eight man rotation that yeah. they trust. Um, let us know in the comment section. Do we miss out on any? Contenders? But who would you want to see the Clippers play in the finals? The Boston Celtics. The Milwaukee but excitement factor. No, no, no we're doing He's it easy. The, I'll probably <laughs> what is happening, bro? <laughs> I would take Milwaukee in that one. But Walker, yeah, you, you still got a boy Celtics. Case scenario? I don't know who the hell from the guard. Unless like, but yeah, <laughs> Daniel Tice come take forty minutes of getting. Oh, no, Kawhi, he gonna he gonna go he gonna go in that locker room and tell Tyloo, I got I got young. That his legacy would go up so much if he did that. He gets Again? another block. Again. Again. One finger, <laughs> yeah, yeah. the one finger block. One finger block is stale crazy. face. One finger block. <laughs> who was that on again? Jamal Murray, I think. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> There's just no way. How do you take the four? Like you stop the force of somebody about to. Dunk the ball with, with one, one finger. finger. Have you seen his hands? His finger yeah, we got strong. to see him in person. Did we? Yeah. Oh, we well, watched the Clippers game. There. Yeah. Oh, I, I we mean, seen like that and the, the Clippers Bulls. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we did go watch that game, didn't we? Me and Mike was able to see him warm up because y'all was on the opposite side looking at them Bulls. Y'all them ain't see it. Andrew Funk and them. You know how like they be warming up before the game and like the the ball boys be passing the ball. Kawhi already had a ball in his hand. Ball boy threw him another one. He ain't see he had it. Kawhi caught it with the same. He had two balls in one <laughs> hand. That's how big his hands were. Two balls in one hand? That'd yes. Be, that would be crazy if somebody did catch a ball with a ball in the same hand. <laughs> he did, D-Mills. He don't believe One last thing, you had two balls in one hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's, time to, it's time to start repping up. <laughs> that what you said? Oh. <laughs> you crazy. Uh, what? I'm asking a question. <laughs> Tell him he crazy like that glue. 
<laughs> he is crazy like that glue. And you crazy like that sand. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, I, don't know. I don't know, bro. It's the end of episode, like, <laughs> giggles. That's how I'd be in the Discord when it'd be like 12 or midnight. Yeah, yeah, people just ready to go to bed. Hey, I'm crazy. I'm in quicksand. You made up crazy sand. <laughs> crazy sand. I bet that shit exists. It's crazy like kinetic sand. Kinetic right. sand. Like it kinetic. definitely oh. is. Yeah. So how's everything going with y'all, man? <laughs> I've been living life, man, trying to enjoy it. <laughs> How everything been with you? In what ways? <laughs> yeah, you got it. I think you just got to go. I think skydiving? at some point in life, you just got to take it day by day. What you been eating? I've actually been trying to eat a lot better lately. Are you keto? Like no, I'm okay. not keto, okay. but I do eat like low carb. But so what, that, what does that look like? I'm just trying to cut out like the fried foods and all that type of stuff. Just like. So you've been. So you haven't eaten out in a while, or are you doing that while still eating? Out? I don't think I've eaten out since Sunday. Okay. Oh wow, that's a really big stretch for you. Because from my yeah. understanding, you eat Chipotle like five times a week. It, that is not. That's an exaggeration. Oh okay. <laughs> it wasn't five times. What about lying on what, your, what, it was three? Full time. No, it's maybe they once. They did bring that. Uh, that, that I swear what's to God, it called? I was Chipotle maybe. Like they once brought that a chicken El Paso back. I got some. I'm thinking. Yeah, I, I got some the other day. My watch does this thing where it randomly goes through pictures. It's got Derek. Oh, it's gone. Now. Derek, Derek Williams. Williams. Yeah. <laughs> I was but, thinking about getting some after so, this. So wait. So my question. I've been eating out a lot. I got to dial back this week because you don't. You don't really cook. Who oh, you did cook? I saw you cook some chicken the other day. Yeah. Do you normally cook like every night? Do y'all cook regularly? I've been cooking more regularly. Yeah. That's really it's hard, bro. It is. Every once in a while, I have like um, acid reflux yeah. flare ups. So I would have to like for a couple of days stretch, can't eat out, and I can't eat like frozen food that I just throw in the, the oven. I gotta like make food. Shit is hard, bro. Oh, it, it is. is so hard. And bro. I've been doing this stuff with stadium. So then I gotta go out there to do that. And now it's like, where do I have time to really mm -hmm. cook, cook yeah. how I wanna cook? Yeah, you gotta that's, that's that on the go lifestyle. We just gotta keep eating out, keep eating out, because it's yeah. the only real way. Some, I've got to the point where like yesterday I had to eat out because I had a long day and it was bad. Like I just did not like it wasn't even bad food, but it was just like, I just I need some home cooked shit. Hey, lunchbox, bring a lunchbox to work. Uh, might have to. That's the way. Might have to make That's a nice way. turkey sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know peanut butter and jellies add time to your life. I love peanut butter and jelly. That's Who a said that? that's a real study. You ever had grilled cheese peanut butter and jelly? No, Hell yeah. no. I've, I've I made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and like put it on the yeah. Ain't, like no, on the ain't no cheese in it. Ain't no cheese. Yeah. In it. Oh, it's a grilled but peanut butter. Instead of making cheese. your grilled cheese, you take out cheese. You put peanut butter. Oh, yeah, oh okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like a before. yeah. I've had a, I've had a grilled peanut butter. And jelly I, peanut butter is one of my favorite things. Like surprisingly, me too. Because when I was a kid, I did not like peanut butter. Oh really? Peanut butter is clutch. Peanut butter is so good on it. crackers. You can put it on yep. apples, apples, carrots. Everything. It's so, yeah. yeah. It's carrots. carrots. Shit. I ain't tried that. You ain't never had carrots and peanut butter? Celery. Celery, celery yeah. and peanut yeah. butter. Celery is the one. Yeah, yeah. I like carrots with like ranch. I, I'm, I'm a big carrot eater. When I go to um, Sweet Green, man, hey, throw them carrots on there right now. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. I had Sweet Green recently. Man, black and chicken. Have you had Bibby Bob yet? No. I wanted to. I was going. I was thinking about it getting it yesterday. Funny enough, and I'm like, I'm so hungry. Whatever I get, I need to know I'm going to like you, it. I, I, when you when you super hungry, you do not want to test something new. You know what I really wanted, bro? <laughs> that what? is very true. So obviously, when I do the stuff with Stadium, it's at the United Center. Yeah. But the way I park, I don't know if they can deliver. Yeah. But I was very tempted to have Soleil Uber eat it oh. to me. Ah oh, man. So I've been wanting something like Soleil. Mm -hmm. Even um, what's the place in Orland? Oh, uh, Soul, Soul Vibes. Vibes. Yeah, man, I, I need something like that in my life. You fuck around, not go back to work. I oh, I've been there. Been I so went good. to that, but Soul I wanted. Vibes I was gonna get Soleil on my way out. I went oh, to that okay. Soul Vibes place, but it was too packed, so we ended up going somewhere. Oh yeah, Soul Vibes else. be busting. Yeah, yeah I was on my shit. Yes, it call. was a Saturday at like six or seven. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. it was no every restaurant in the world. Yeah, no sex. If yeah. I don't have a reservation on a Saturday night, I'm typically, yeah. I'm, I'm probably not going to go. But I want so bad, so bad, I don't need to eat in there. No, You yeah. put my stuff in the bag, man. The it only thing I don't like about so bad when I looked at Instagram, bro, I don't need all that. that I don't need no flour in my food that I'm not going <laughs> to yeah. eat. You don't got to make <laughs> my food look that, that Yeah, yeah, I don't so. need all that, bro. I don't need that. that. That shit is neither here nor there for me. Cook the food, give it to me, and I'm going to devour. <laughs> you know there's a, a golf course right next to your house? Yeah, literally, walking distance. They they advertise it as a beginner's golf course. 
Oh, they your do? first golf course. We in, oh, and I'm really? like, bro, let's go. We need to slide. Yeah, let's go. I'll walk I over there and meet y'all. I don't know where y'all <laughs> talking about. I don't. I can't visualize it either. But I, I Google I golf courses near me. I will let you know. <laughs> We're not gonna put too much information. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I don't want people to know that. Yeah, my my mansion. That might be our little little secret spot. My my, my mansion, the backyard, is a golf course. <laughs> You know, yeah, yeah, go there, it's gonna be small out there. Talking about hey guys, and I'm like, where the fuck is there a golf course? That's half, I haven't seen it, but I googled it and it's there. And I think it's a full eighteen. <laughs> you crazy? Too. It's a full eighteen. I think it's a full eighteen. Because I was thinking of another person, but you. Said I know. You th- yeah, I know what you think about too. That'd be the funniest thing when I like people when I be streaming or somebody just knows we have a trip coming up. They'll be like, "What time you finna be landing?" I'm like, "Why do you need to know exact time I'm landing? <laughs> or what sc- time I'm leaving out for a hotel?" I'd be like, "Yeah, we just gonna be leaving out." Tomorrow, we'll be there sometime. But yeah, I ain't know it was. A, I ain't know it was tagged as a beginner's. So. Mm-hmm. They got. I think half of them are part three holes, and then some of them are like part five. So like a okay. full. So they they mix in a little tough with like how we on the simulator. Yes. How sometimes it's easy, but then I ain't they also the, we ain't been to the simulator in like a week. It's I've too long. I progressed so much. You have. I got new clubs. You hit the rookie wall. Oh, you did. Yes. So you, I got new clubs and I cannot. When next thing y'all trying to do something? But is the fitted thing you saying the fitted thing is uncomfortable? No, it's it's to optimize it. But you just have to. A lot of people say that once you have new clubs, you take a step back before you go forward. Okay. And I'm experiencing that step back. Where I'm at, I went. That had to be, let's say Saturday, Thursday afternoon, first day of March Madness. So it was busting. It was fucking ridiculous. For real, busting. Cause, spot? yeah, because um, you have Ira plan. And they had uh, like a, like two like parties a, were going on. Okay, um, that is one of the things I like about that spot. It ain't like we're in here to work. Yeah, but I was just I was shanking the ball left, right. I mean, in my hour session, I may have swung and felt comfortable like four times. It's awful by the process, not the result. No, one hundred percent. That's why I love it so much right now. Because next time I go, I'm have gonna I'm yeah. gonna be better. You know, you are you you've met you've mentally made the adjustments. Yes, that's uh, why I like it too, because you're constantly in a competition with yourself, mm-hmm. trying to be the you, best. I don't version. know if you're gonna get there. How many hours Damn. did you put in out of your that? What is it? A hundred thousand hours? Or yeah, I think it's a hundred thousand so, hours. Mm-hmm. How many hours you put in so far? Oh, it's hard to say. Probably not a lot, but he can get there because I feel like lot he's putting a lot of time. And the, the time he spent golfing, he's putting a lot. But of you got to understand, a lot of time. hundred. Yeah, hours hours. I mean, yeah, that takes years. For somebody and years that just years started years. about a less than a month ago, I probably I probably have a lot of hours compared to new players for sure. Mm-hmm. But that don't really mean nothing, you know, because I there's so many things that's still broken about my swing and stuff that I'm like breaking down one by one. But I might I might have a cool hey, 24. P, but the thing about I'm, golf hey, is no, 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 no. imagine the if one he thing did about that golf with his though, jump shot though, and we was at the jump. Gary Payton II. I thought about it when I watched the Warriors. I'm like, that's KB. <laughs> <laughs> and KB spent that time fixing his swing like he did his jump shot and he was a 40% three-point shooter. We wouldn't lose. No, no, I'm like, I don't need 40. I need 32. 40? I need 32. 32%? That below average? Below I'll average t- you? I'll take no, it. Below no, average KB no. shooting the ball is getting us championships you, who at Who you to NBA players? The export ha- average is not 35% like an NBA what you think it is? I don't fucking know, but it ain't I know 35%. I ain't shooting no uh, open jumpers. I bet not be shooting no thirty percent. In in flow of game, a open jump. P. If you get an open <laughs> jumper, do you feel confident you shooting over probably fifty percent? Fifty. NBA I'll players open. don't shoot fifty. We talking open. about we. This that's an NBA game. We just talking about an open gym game where no, people barely. It's but, he, but it's the same in, process. He's saying within the course of a game, you're not going to make fifty percent of your open shot. No, you thinking more so into NBA. I'm not listen, thinking listen, about listen, NBA listen, terms at all. I'm not thinking about NBA terms at all. I agree with both of y'all in a certain delight. I do right. think it's players. No, we've done three point shootouts. We was no. It was just you going spot to spot. You couldn't shoot fifty percent. That's back to back. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Go ahead. Y'all are both right to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. I do think that you're thinking of it a little bit too much of but no, NBA. He, I don't care. He's not hitting half of his shots. I, and I agree. He but would make force it if you send half but, his shots. But, <laughs> but, I, I do think, but I do think it's people at export that do shoot 60% because it ain't the NBA. Yeah, sure. But it's, you are saying it like it's just a regular we're, thing. We're talking no. like the average person going to average export person, is yes. not shooting we 50%. We should do average okay. person. Okay. We should do average person. Are we saying about the average person? Because m- most of the time, the average person going there for some cardio. Yeah, yeah the average person is like, probably 25%. So that's why I said 32, I'm taking that. Because okay, yeah. if we bring in John right now, an average person. Demo, he's shooting f- 3%. You think if we brought Austin in there, an average person, you think he's shooting 60%? Hell no! If we brought Anwar in there. Lower than John is crazy. Like... 
That's crazy. The average person. You, yeah. When you start nah, talking right. about a person who go every day, they're you're no right. longer an average person. You're right. You're right. I, I just don't think that if we brought him in right now and was like standing in that corner and I'm driving a kick, I don't think Austin is lighting it up. Uh, yeah. But I do think there could be a day in a week he feeling good and he could shoot 60%. Right. So that's why I think both of y'all are, are right. Oh, with, I think he said average. And I'm like, that's just not. No, yeah. Okay. And average. I think about the average experience. I'm talking about just like. How many people have you played against an expert and said, oh, his ass weak? Majority. 90% of that's the time. What I, yeah. That's my yeah. entire that's why point. I agree with what he's saying. Right. But there is that standout couple of guys that's who you like, probably okay, will be they like, probably, anytime they get a, shooting 60 Anytime they get over shot, he's like, <laughs> that's <laughs> usually regular knockdown. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Which is like, okay, I could probably see him. It's all hypothetical, hypothetical but I was like, like he can shoot over 40%. If we played five games, mm-hmm. us four plus Austin as our five, is he shooting fifty percent in these no. games? That's mm. my like. You're not shooting fifty percent mm. from three. If we're if we're j- jump shooting, you're okay. not shooting fifty percent. It's mm. just hard to do. But the NBA is. players but struggle to shoot. But they got to incorporate. But, 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 but listen, listen, yeah, listen. I, I still, think, I still think you would be one of our top players. A hundred percent. I would never take that away. I'm from a you. guy that's not going. I told you, I don't give a damn about efficiency. Mm. Well, I would rather him take that shot than me take that shot. That's because I was saying last time he was at the gym. Remember, he was running the little plays or whatever. You was at the post or whatever, and mm-hmm. I was catching the ball. I was missing, but most of the time I was knocking down the threes that got us back in the game. Mm-hmm. It's like that's most of the time for a regular or a person that goes to the gym normally. That's just a that's a regular easy shot. For sure, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You gonna hit that a more than average against but a regular But that's why I also agree with y'all because I think that's also another thing is the context. Sometimes you can be on a team where you have to be, like, on that example. I was going to say, you was not, the, the open looks he gets, I don't get those same open looks. And no. most of the time they're probably guarding me or it's like For I'm sure. dribbling or whatever. And then you've also been on teams yeah. where you've been the guy bringing up the ball, trying to make the play, doing everything you, on yourself. Right. You're not shooting 50% there. Hell but no. But on, on a game where it's me, you, D Mills, I'm getting at the elbow, mm-hmm. you can get the handoff in the screen, or I can uh, drive and command two and kick it to you. That's a different context right. versus you being on the team with – and you trying to carry them. Also, what benefit do I have to put that time in on the basketball? You'd have more. It's fun when he, it's a. Hey, but we. Ha- when, was when was the last time we played basketball? When was the last time we played? We don't. We nobody hoops so. When was the last time we played basketball? I don't. Months ago. So what incentive do I be like? You know how I switched on to golf? I'm like you know what? Matter of fact, I'm gonna go to the gym and shoot basketballs. There's no practicality in it anymore. It's I'm, fun, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 30 I in a few I will say years. I still enjoy hooping when we do hoop. Yeah, I was going to say. But I don't win. enjoy it to enough to wind up in the grind. And going I would, to the gym. Like, I would rather I'm pick up a new skill. Golf. Yeah. yeah. And Because golf is a thing. I don't need none of y'all to come with me. <laughs> For sure. To play bad, I'm not going to the gym by myself. Last time I went to the gym by myself, motherfucker sprained my ankle. <laughs> that, that, that I was, do enjoy actually going to the gym by myself. That was my thing. But main, are you running or are you just shooting? Just shooting around. That was my main thing. With the time that we have for work and everything that we do. In the states of it, I, and this is what I tell people all the time, because I run into people at the barbershop or whatever, and they be like, man, next time y'all run, let me know. It's like, don't get me wrong. I'm always a hooper in my core. I can't afford to get a sprained ankle. I can't. <laughs> I'll be thinking there. about that even too, the bro. Day, I even no sprained ankle, just the soreness of day two. I can't hop runs. in here on, on no crutches. Now you're going too far with I'm the soreness. Just, I'm, I'm I'm just, I'm I'm so from golf because I don't stretch in my hips. But yeah, I remember this time I used to mess my knee up, bro. Like, and I couldn't, and like. I was at work and I was like, bro, I can barely stand up straight because my yeah. knee hurting so bad. It's just like, that's to be the first thing. That seems to be like, it didn't, it wasn't worth it. First I'm not thing getting paid no millions of dollars to go hoop. Is my job. Yeah. It, and it revolves being on camera. When I'm doing my stuff at home on my own YouTube, I got to sit there and film it and edit it. I'm moving, I'm turning this light on, I'm putting my green screen up, putting it down. I don't, I, I don't, I can't afford to have a, a sprained ankle for two weeks. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hi, I'm hopping. And now I'm doing something with another company. I got to drive or I'm hopping up to the door. This is different. At least I can be like, hey, D-Mill, you come grab my bag. I ain't got no, no, nah, hell no. Nah. The only no, no, benefit no. of basketball now is literally just like the cardio. Yeah. yeah, it's just getting getting your heart going. And I still and like I, busting I, people. Yeah, ass. I was going to say, I enjoy oh, yeah. playing basketball. because yeah. I mean, obviously we're all basketball fans. I That's part of the reason that got me into it was like, Basketball was like an escape for me because hey. it was like you ain't got shit to worry about. And now I'm at the age of my little brother talking real? crazy like I can't bust his ass. <laughs> you want to know something real? If I never played basketball for the rest of my life, I feel like I'd be okay. Now that I can't say. I, 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 got, I, I would love to that. still. Yeah. Especially when I have a son. No, I mean, I, when I, I mean, back, like play like a, a role. Oh, yeah. Like shooting around. I that's, still want to do that with y'all. I just don't want to do it all the time. I, I be wanting to do it. It's just me be losing sometimes. <laughs> I don't even mind that shit. <laughs> we be I do because we be at export and you know, you lose that yeah, one game. That it one. be like, fuck. When we lose, we always got our ball. Our fifth is John. Our fifth yeah. is Kyron. 
If we had Ontario or some shit. Oh, yeah, true. At least somebody that can just. Do he still got a motor? Yeah. Oh, okay, we good. Then. He still hoop regular? Nah. Those are the type of people that be asking me. But oh. I be telling them, like, it's it's just, it's, it's so hard. If you get Vontae to come up though. Lil Vontae? Big Vontae. Big Vontae. Which one is Big Vontae? <laughs> Dark skin. Dark skin. Oh, he got to call the dark skin. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that's hilarious for, for real. Hey, we appreciate y'all watching. There was a time in our life where we was active. Yes. No, I'm saying like recently. We we, we was going to the baseball oh, yeah. diamond. Oh, yeah. We oh, went yeah. to the batting cage. Yeah. We it was, was around like, this time like three years ago. We was like, but I think also that's because that we had a year before that where you where couldn't, couldn't go outside. Do True. Oh, so it's like yeah. the sun True. is out. Let's now go. Now we got to do every day. Yeah. And now True. we kind of used to the world being back over. Like oh, I don't know that if I really feel true. like it. No <laughs> the one thing I like about golf though is it can be competitive. We can do it together. You can't do it solo, but I prefer when I'm with y'all. Obviously, mm-hmm. um, Mike, you should just come because it's an excuse to get drunk. Boom. It's it's the one sport you can like do with your no homies more. and you can still kick it. Right, we in there eating smoke. between swings. We in there drinking between swings. <laughs> I bet one of the ladies that served. You us know they let me charge my vape in there last time. <laughs> 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 Bro, you know she watched the pod. Oh shit. They, the dude in there yes, actually does yeah. watch the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, He's watching it right now. He's yeah. playing in the background. It's, 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 it's over the or, intercom. Or, or he laughing with us. Because he knows. <laughs> <laughs> or or cra- crazy plot twist. It's his girl. <laughs> we just ran though. Thank y'all so much for watching and listening to this episode of Numbers on the Board. Be sure to leave it a like. Five stars across our, all platforms. And we'll be back. And I do want to tell y'all that we got a very special announcement coming up very soon that we cannot tell you. Be on the lookout. We here, baby. Peace.